Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Okay, finally got that working. Fantastic. Uh, let's continue, shall we? Um, I did just a little bit of stream. Not a whole lot. Um, changed up this design a little bit. Added a beacon. It's still, uh, most of it, especially the beacons, is still under power management. Um, so that power switch connects to there and down here. There's a few machines on the ends that are still under the pylon substations, but the important thing is the beacons get switched on enough. A P Simon. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This could be a recording of you being live. Yes, pre-recorded, including this conversation. A Velda. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, as you can see, I noticed uh, Bioscrubbers share inputs with the Vitalic Acid themselves. We only have to add steel. And the rate of throughput is such that we could just put steel on uh, one side of the belt here. And it was just slow enough for glass. I am Suck. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's the date if you're so called live? The date of recording or the date that this is posted? How would that be difficult to... Well, it's the 22nd in any case. Here in Futureland. Um... Yeah, so I also put, I think we did this already, but I've got uh, Vitalic Acid in this cargo rocket silo. This one is set up to be scrubbers, but we haven't got 8,000 of them just yet. You just edited that. I heard the change in your voice. Uh, the change in my voice is probably because I haven't, like, settled in just yet. Um, let's see. I wanted to check as well. Um, what do we need scrubbers for? It's literally just Bioscience 2 and Life Support Equipment Mark 2. Okay. For Bioscrubbers, we need twice as many Bioscrubbers as uh, Biological Science Packs. Um, it would help if the power was on, if I want to check the max rate of this. But let's say without the beacon, uh, we've got 24 of these. Uh, just under 6 per second, and that's without the beacon. I think that'll be more than enough for the entire base, probably considering the only consistent uh, consumer of it is going to be Bioscience 2. Um, I've played around a little bit with... Uh, what is it called? Uh, Auto Trash. Um, suffice to say, I kind of had to start over with the... Um, with the logistics requests, but it's definitely worth it. Um, since there's one button, uh, just to... How do I do this? Uh, there's one button. If I go to the Spidertron, trash unrequested items, that's there. It was... Unfortunately, it made our remotes fly away. But that was easy to fix. I'm having trouble remembering where this setting or button is for the main character. But suffice to say, uh, it definitely makes things easier, especially from the beginning, 
That would have been better. Uh, Factorio Library, Jetpack, LTN, right. I don't see any... It's probably per player, auto trash. Show auto trash button. Yes. Auto trash button. Where is it? Oh, up here, right. Right, so this is... This is for my stuff. Cool. Can we have a great news, everyone? The slime is flowing again. Uh, like, should I try to do it right now? Great news, everyone. The slime is flowing again. How's that for a first take? Um, maybe I could... You mean like a... Like a... Points reward? Lorenza? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the yay. Um, we built this, but we didn't set it up yet. We've got, uh... Hagen. That... I thought we needed to reconfigure Hagen. Uh, let me check. There was a planet that we realized... It is Hagen. So how did... What? How... Who is sending stuff to Hagen? Are we just running out of the resources that were already there? I thought we did that already, and hence I became aware that I had to send stuff to Hagen. Or did we already configure some of these and I just forgot to... Yeah, it was this one, because I removed some of those. Okay, cool. I just need to add a planet icon here. Hagen, and that's gonna go about here. For points, seems good. Uh, let me just take a little snip of that to remind myself for later. Okay. Uh, so, all of our resources are flowing again, infinitely, if only a bit slowly and having a lot of catching up to do, in some cases. Um, I also... I did some little thing in space, I don't... I think it was literally just... building out a block... or something. Oh, that's the wrong... I shouldn't have put the two spider groups on top of each other. Let's make sure that they're configured to follow each other. There we go. Um, might build another block here. Expanded the solar panels slightly. We're currently at 68.3 gigawatts max. Uh, the fact that we're not using more than a slither of this power tells me that we've either run out of resources somewhere or things are backed up or a bit of both. You should totally make that fantastic emote. I plan to. I've already passed it on to my uh, tamed artist. Um, maybe I could try it myself. If it's going to take him a while. Um, let's see. So, bioscrubbers. We've got those now. They're going to take a while to get a delivery uh, in place. But we do have Vitalic Acid already. What the? Uh, we do have Vitalic Acid already in the train network up here. Scrubbers are on their way. 
Um, so I think... This is already configured, right? Yeah. Vita Melange Extract, that is correct, actually. Oh, and the Vitalic Acid, um, which data card does that go into? Biochemical Resistance Data, the very bright green one up here. And, oh, it's already here. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Fantastic. Products finished to zero, even though... Well, it's probably because we forgot to ask for chemical gel. Here I was for a second there, worried that we were really struggling for chemical gel. Uh, we kind of are. I think I should probably make... It, it's way overdue that I should make a rail block for fluids. This is slightly upsetting, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. Uh... Alright. Let me just make a note of this. Alright, so... Rail... Rail block in space for fluids. It's pretty much going to involve, uh, lots of biochemical facilities, some, uh, some, we well, should probably do water somewhere else, maybe? Or, I think it'd be preferable, water can go really, really, really fast here, uh, coming from the ice. So I think it'll be better. Do we actually con uh, do we consume water anywhere else? Uh, have have we ever picked up water here, or is it always cosmic water? I haven't actually. Let's turn on the station names. That's not necessarily going to make it that much easier to find. But as far as I can remember, we've never direct. There was one thing, I think, literally um, one instance of consuming water directly here, and that was to make life support. And hmm, what, how did this happen? I don't understand. Yeah, I guess I have some catchphrases now. Uh, let's get the... Scaffolding spiders to resupply. Where are my spiders? <laughs> I had no idea I had this many catchphrases. Thank you, I suppose, uh, for bringing that to my attention. How do I... There we go. Um, what's one that I'm aware of, if I can find it? I do have a tendency to say that. And it's not a catchphrase, but I do have a tendency to blank on the name of something until I mouse over it. My brain just isn't optimized for recalling things like that. Uh, this thing's broken again. It was working perfectly for a long time. And now I occasionally find it like this. I wonder what happened. It's trying to over... Over... Insert on these two. And there's three missing from this one. Um... I'm going to just... Yeah, that's... That's a good start. I've had a hunch and I want to test it out uh, before that. I don't actually need to divide by four with this part. We just need to send whatever filter it is for the items we're trying to put in. We just have to reduce the stack size to one 
at the appropriate time. Uh, it changes a, it changes a little bit if we've got more inserters. We need to switch those off um, when the time comes. But as long as we set the stack size low enough soon enough, it won't over insert. I'm going to pretend there's five cargo wagons, um, so it drops down to a stack size of one a little bit early. It might help a little bit. That's not the... That's not what I had in mind. Just this part where we don't do the division if there's only four inserters. Oh no. Um, what should we do? I need... Is there any reason I should just put... Fluid takes a really short time to load and unload. And it doesn't need to be delivered that often in most cases. And we can always make another one. I think I'll just start here for a block for fluid. So we're going to do... Um, we're going to need some robo-ports. Because we're going to have cargo rockets landing here. Sometimes they crash. So we need to be able to pick up the pieces. And probably just put this all the way to the side in each instance. Are these going to touch each other? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I don't think we really need these ones here, it doesn't... Well, maybe. Everything less than zero output each. Look, I, I, I want people to be able to understand the circuits if possible. Not just chuck them down and let them be magic for the untrained eye. Um... Uh, all right, let's bring the spiders over here. We're going to need... Actually, we're not going to need any... Um, any rail drop-offs in this case thing. I'll just remove this as well in case... In case we don't decide to do it that way. If we're doing coal like coal liquefaction here. I guess we could pick up the coal from train stations. And same goes for ice. And then we could keep all of the cargo rocket silo stuff together. Except it does add a little bit of unnecessary logistics. Although we're really not having trouble keeping up with the trains. Um, but on the other hand, putting cargo landing pads in this block directly uh, complicates things a little bit more in that we need to we need to deal with the crashing rockets and the cargo rocket sections and the space capsules and so on. We've already got a good system in place for dealing with that. So I think we'll just add some blocks over here. In that case, I think I'll do another another one of these blocks here. Sorry spiders, you're gonna have to come back over this way. And we're just gonna go for uh, space block landing pads. What the? This this has the um. This says pylon, but it's got all of the. Uh, big electric poles instead. I must have overwritten it, somehow. Or I just forgot to update it. All right, let's sort that out now, shall we? 
So this is going to go here. Um, we need to fix... Well, first of all, we need to remove the old power poles. And then that becomes a long arm inserter. That doesn't look right. Oh, it is. Oh, that's fine. We need to remove this extra bit of rail. Or well, that uh, inserter. Uh, not inserter. Rail signal, anyway. Um, this goes here. That goes there. That goes there. That should be about right. I have to hurry. Alright, where is it? Just double check this all lines up. That looks about right. Okay. Roboports get pushed out a little bit more. Green wire goes directly from here to here. That doesn't exist. That fits there. Perfect. And... I believe that is our rail block. So let's update that correctly this time. Select new contents. Fantastic. Okay. Now we need... Um, we need ice and we need coal. Which do we go through quicker? I'm guessing it's coal. I'm pretty sure it's coal. Especially stack size wise. Um, where do we even use water? It's just for cracking and for... Um, okay, that can be pretty fast. takes like 10 water to make it takes yeah 10 water to make one cosmic water pretty much but the amount of water that we get from ice one becomes a hundred so one ice becomes 10 cosmic water so 2,000 cosmic water from one stack of ice um, 11 stacks is like a full tank, whereas coal, 10 coal for not that much oil, yeah, I'm pretty sure coal will be the higher throughput thing, so we'll put coal here, apparently we're missing cargo landing pads, let's go pick a few up. If my mouse will stop clicking back up there. I do have a new mouse. I should probably start using it and make this one the spare. We get to know you quite well, T-Hack. Some of us has, have watched you for a long time, indeed. And I appreciate it. But we should have Q&A sometime, so we can know you better, I suppose. Uh, I wouldn't exactly say you can ask me anything, but anything within reason. Uh, are these all in sync? Looks like it. How many bots do we have here? 2,000. More than enough. I'm thinking if I bump the timer up on this... Oh yeah, I, I, I dropped it down a little while ago. That should ensure... Uh, that's a full minute. That should ensure that this is fully loaded before the... Um, before the inserters start swinging. Okay. Uh, spiders, come back here, please. They should be carrying... This one should be carrying four cargo rocket silos now. Fantastic. Um, 
scaffolding down here, please. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, so I want... I guess it would have to... This one shouldn't actually be coal because the train would have to... Um, like go around here, come back this way or something. This one is probably... These two here are probably effectively the closest. This... This one in particular. Okay, so this is going to be Alvis Orbit Coal. And we'll probably be seeing a rocket arrive immediately. Coal. Fantastic. Now where's our rocket? Now this orbit call them. Let's just confirm that's working. Uh, rocket has been launched and the target is Nalvis Orbit Call. Fantastic. Uh, next is ice. I'll do the ice drop off of he over here, I think. Well, let's design the block before I commit to that, actually. I think we've got coal... Yeah, we already had coal in the rail block, but this is fine, I suppose. We don't have ice in the rail block just yet. Um, so we're going to do a regular drop-off station. How fast are we going to need coal? This is 90 per second. We might need more than that after beacons. Also need to figure out the shape of this thing, considering we need to do it in a square. Um, I'll be a little bit lazy and copy our usual beacons. That should be not minus 70%. Fantastic. Uh, so this will be coal liquefaction. That's a sound effect and a half. Uh, let's give it some speed modules. So just one of these... Uh, wow. Okay. That's... That's fast. I don't think we're going to be needing too many machines if we use a beacon. Um, that's very, very fast. How many stack inserters is this? Uh, almost one? I can hardly believe one stack inserter could keep up with 27 coal per second. Uh, definitely not if it's picking up from belts. If we're not going to use power switches, we need to make sure there's room for pumps. Um, in order to manage cracking. I'll just check. We'll probably use this same layout here. Uh, that's the wrong set of spiders. That goes there. Uh, storage tanks. I think we'd... wait, what? Let me have another look at this. 
Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense, I suppose. So this part would line up like that. Um, can we make it a bit more compact, perhaps? Not that we're necessarily going to need to. If we do it like that, it's not going to... It's not going to have a nice repeating pattern with the storage tanks. But we could probably just... Connect that like so. And then... This one doesn't even repeat if we do that. Yeah, they're each offset by one tile, so it would take uh, three of these in a row before... Sorry, four of these in a row? Before it repeats like that? Spiders are getting dancy. Um, I suppose a thousand followers would be a good milestone for Q&A, right? We have been creeping towards it. Let me just check. Uh, 43 to go. Not bad. Okay. I think we probably... Well, how fast would this be already with four of these? 108 coal per second. I think we might see if... See if we can fit this for approaching 180 per second, since that's about the most that we can comfortably get out of um, a train station. So we would have one of these on each side. And our rate would... I could have just multiplied by two, but I want to see how it fits as well. Uh, 217 per second. That's a little bit disappointing. We could always uh, use a little bit more efficiency, I guess. If that puts it just a little bit below 180 per second, I think we'll go with this. 204 per second. Um, that did not reduce the speed as much as I thought it would. So unless I want to have obscene coal storage here... I think we'll just go with like... 6 of these. 153 per second. A little bit faster. 163 per second. That's fine. In that case... Uh, in that case, I think we'll do the slightly more spacious design that's much more consistent. Uh, where does this go? Here? Here. And here. Uh, let's put it in the middle. Or as close, as close to the middle as we can get. Uh... 
um, we'll have a 180 per second. I haven't made a right side version of this blueprint, really. This should probably not actually be in the middle because we need to have room to make water as well, but on the other hand, it's I think it's going to be very, very easy to keep up with the water. Uh, let's make... Wait, I already did this. I just forgot to blueprint it. Uh, somewhere down here, we've got 180 per second output that goes to the right, I'm pretty sure. Or did I delete that after changing my mind about the layout? I hope not. Um, let's see. It would be preferable if I don't have to manually mirror that again. What with the peculiarities of the sides of the belts that items go on. Especially coming from the inserters. Um, that's... That technically works, I guess. It's just a bit bigger than what I'm looking for. Alright, I think we're gonna have to just do this again. Oh, that wouldn't have been full throughput, though. Alright, start with... this. We need some... filters, like so. I think we'll actually put this here. Goes there. And then something similar from over here. Um, we need to... It's this spot here. We need to have an underground so that that can get through. And in that case, we'll need to make... The middle one, uh, the one where we read the belt contents. Shouldn't really matter as long as it's consistent. We could probably even read that one. Actually, no, I think that could mess it up because this exits first and then these ones. Yeah, that's probably... Probably not going to work out the way we hope. Um, this would go... Wait, what? Oh. It's going to look a little bit different to this. Or perhaps not. Why would I not just have this splitter here? Because I need to have this splitter it somewhere. That's probably the problem. Except we could... I can't do it this way. That becomes a half belt. I can put this here, copying this thing again. Is there a reason I didn't do that in this instance? Probably because I was copying from here. It's a little bit smaller, but I don't think it really... Oh, there might not be room for the underground belts if I do it this way. So confused. By this asymmetry. 
I'm surprised this is turning out different. Let's start from the third one. That should be pretty straightforward. Except we need this to come down here somehow. So I think that is probably why we did something like this. Yeah, that's... That's looking okay. And then I guess if we're doing that, it's like more consistent. If it looks like this kind of. Well, we could do the two front ones looking like that and the two back ones like this as well. Seems fine. So is this actually done? I feel like it shouldn't be yet. Uh, that one's wrong. So that goes there, goes there, goes there. These ones all merge like so. These ones merge here. And that goes there. Fantastic. And I've done the same thing, except that this part looks a little different. Since I've already got the blueprint for that one, uh, let's copy this one here. And then we've made the exact same thing. Um, now we can mix these up. Make sure those are all connected. I think we made a similar mistake with this blueprint. So we'll update that as well. And just for the sake of consistency... Um, I would like to... change that. And I'll double check all of these. Everything equals zero. Read belt contents hold. Read hand contents hold. Fantastic. Um, let's update that blueprint. Left 80, 180 per second. Combinatorless. Select new contents. No tiles. And then create copy, change it to right 180 per second, select new contents, no tiles, and we're done. Did I save that? Yes, that's looking good. Fantastic. Uh, we will need ice here, but I think throughput is going to be dramatically reduced. Um, so each side is most of two belts. Um, I guess we could start from the middle, that should be fine. We could probably... Bring this down here. Two stack inserters each. What does deconstruction icon do in splitters? Um, the deconstruction planner, you can drop it as a physical object. Uh, in fact, you used to have to like craft these things. So you can filter a splitter so that only deconstruction planners will come onto this side of the belt 
And since we're never actually using deconstruction planners in our production chains, uh, this is just a way to... Some people do... Some people use fish for this. Whatever it is. I just like the deconstruction planner for this, because it's like... Looks kind of like a red light, like a stop sign or something. And it's just because I don't want items uselessly trapped on this part of the belt until the end of time. That's all that is. Bye, Dow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, let me just do this. And this. And we'll probably do something similar on this side. So robots will collect them? Uh, no, this is just for... Whenever you set a filter on a splitter, um, it's, it's a strict filter. So all, for example, hogs, iron gear wheels, all iron gear wheels must go through this output, um, and everything else will go on this piece of belt here. So if we just set that to an item that's never going to be on the belt, uh, we're effectively saying all items must go this way. So it stops being a 2 to 2 splitter and becomes a 2 to 1 merger, basically. Uh, speaking of splitters, we should probably have one here somewhere. And maybe over here. How's this going to look? Like that. Except then this doesn't line up the way I would want. It's fine. Let's put that in the middle. There is no middle. Tragic. Mm, I think this is a bit neater, maybe. Alright, so that'll be all of our coal. We'll need some pipes for steam. That fits pretty well. Uh, that does not. Hmm. I don't really want to have to change this inserter, but it would make it more consistent with everything else here, I suppose. Wait, this looks weird now. Why is this here? Let's just do that. That's fine. And then that goes there. Perfect. We're going to need at least one steam condenser. 816 steam per second. How much do we get out of... Uh, where is it? We're probably going to need more than one of these. 264 steam per second is unsurprisingly going to need four of them. Okay. I don't think we've actually got steam condensers um, uh, queued up to be made automatically. It's one of those items that it's so rare that we need it that I usually just um, handcraft it. Uh, 
but we're obviously going to need some of them. We might end up moving all of this down a bit so that there's room for water. Let's see what regrets I have about this build. Um, water was over the side here. I wouldn't call it an afterthought, but... So there's no need for water all the way through here. It's just steam. And... We need water, lots and lots and lots of water for cosmic water. Probably want a second inserter to input coal on those last machines too. Uh, quite likely. 440 steam. Oh. Yeah, so we're going to be doing like double this. Um... Let's put this here. Fantastic. And over this side as well. Beautiful. We could put the water production just about anywhere though. Um, how much water would four of these consume? It's one to one. So preferably we want this to be quite close to our um, biochemical facilities. Is there actually a reason that we need to keep these tanks not full? I was doing it just so sort of as a best practice because uh, I don't know didn't know all the production chains and a lot of things output fluids. But I don't think there's going to be anything in this block that outputs water as a... like a waste product or a side effect. So... I don't think there's any need for this. Even without beacons or speed modules, this does 1.6k water per second. So basically, more than the max rate of pipes, unless we just keep a bunch of storage tanks close and pumps and everything close together everywhere we go. There goes some more coal. How fast does this consume ice? Pretty quickly. But overall rate of consumption is not going to be like that. So I'm guessing... Um, we need exactly as much water as steam here. 816 per second. should be pretty easy, honestly. We could probably do some direct insertion. Ice doesn't need to go anywhere else, except straight into these biochemical facilities. So we could put those here, which means we need to... One, two, three. I need to move this whole thing down at least three tiles. Also, also... I don't know if we're going to be able to have the usual, or anything like the usual layout. But we already don't. We put cracking on the side because the machines are too damn big. Uh, if we had regular, regular pipe, how many tiles is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think regular pipe goes further than that, maybe? Not even. 
Uh, yeah, it's just barely enough if we could use regular pipe, but we can't. Um, so I think we ended up with not enough cracking. Um, I mean, look at all of this heavy oil. And we're going to be aiming for twice as much. Hmm. How do we know how much cracking is enough? Let's compare it. If this is 88 coal per second, and this can crack 156 light oil per second. Heavy oil's a bit more. So let's say it's a bit more than double the heavy oil cracking uh, compared to coal is a bit more than double. We're aiming for like about 360 per second cracking heavy oil to light. We probably will have to do this on both sides, maybe. Uh, cracking heavy oil to light and light to petroleum. Uh, let's see. 208 per second. It's not under a beacon yet, though. 272 per second. Uh, is this four speed modules? Yeah, it is. I'm at the stage where I'm done with just space science in K2 plus SE. Would you recommend I go for Cryo World or the Asteroid Belt to automate water delivery? Oh, like regular space science. Um, personally, I like the Cryonite because, I mean... The first thing I do is set up core mining, uh, and then if I want higher throughput of something, I go for the temporary mines, which are getting drained surprisingly quickly. Um, that's kind of scary. Uh, but yeah, getting, getting everything in an infinite if slow supply is kind of a nice security blanket. Things will slow down, but you never have to worry about them completely breaking. Um, and every little bit of resources you expend, it's just literally a matter of time to get it back. This mud pack goes on and on. I'm riding hour 750 plus at the moment. No end in sight. Yeah. I could literally see myself doing this for, like, a year or something. I don't know. Um, so if that's 272 per second... Yeah, we definitely want two of each machine for cracking. And that'll probably... I mean, this is just sort of a wild guess. But that'll probably be enough to balance the fluids. Maybe. Um, how we lay it out is another question. Uh, so, how many tiles did I say we need to move this down? Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. And I might, I might stop being married to the idea of keeping this as close to the middle as possible as well. Because we'll want... We'll want cracking to be as close to water as possible. So we'll probably... Probably move all of this over to the left as well, just... For starters. Um... Thinking we'll delete this, delete this, delete this. Uh, 
It's a shame that... Well, let me just check. Uh, water? Water from ice. Chemical plant biological facility. Biochemical facility. Yeah, this is the smallest thing we can get for melting ice, oddly enough. So I think we'll just direct insert that. And we'll make sure we do that evenly. Just by saying read hand contents hold and everything has to equal zero. I mean, it'll probably empty them evenly anyway, but I prefer not to take a chance on that. Otherwise, we'll eventually end up with a train stuck because one. The chests for one cargo wagon got emptied quicker than the other one. Uh, so that's going... Oh, are you kidding? Uh, I don't want to have to add something to connect a wire here. Hmm. There isn't really a way to put that closer. Add on power pole. So you can literally put these anywhere. It's interesting. It might come to that. I might have to put in a power pole just to connect this. We need a constant combinator here anyway. But I don't like breaking the standard layout for that either. Oh, I have an idea. Nope. That would be too easy. We could put we could chain it off a signal if that was closer. Uh, okay, I have an idea. We're going to make a display for how much ice we've got. And ice is basically white, so we don't have to... Um, we don't need to add a color to that. We don't need another combinator. Do we not have lights? I'm guessing we don't have lights. Let's see. 50 of those, please. And copy paste the settings to the rest of them. Okay, back to the mall for a second. That should be all it takes. So same trick with the uh, biomass indicator over here. It's really just an excuse to get this wire from here to here. But that works. Uh, so that's going to report how much ice we got. And we're going to request ice. Um, quite a lot of it, really, because there's no reason. There's no reason it needs to not be filled up in advance. And there's like practically nothing else. But so far, there's literally nothing else that ice goes into. Uh, so six train loads would be 768,000. Oops. Theoretically, that should be fine. Um, there's no... There's room... F oh, wait, we've only got eight chests. I mean, 16 chests. Um, 
42 times... No, it's 48 times 16. 768 stacks divided by 160 is 4.8 train loads. Let's go for 4 train loads. Uh, which should be... 128,000. Nice. Greater than or equal to 32,000. Not 320,000. 32, 64, 96, and 128. Theoretically, it should never be greater than 128, but... I fully expect LTN to overfill it. We'll see. Um, so this is ice. Whoops. Ice drop off. What am I doing? Ice requester. Um, and we're going to have a similar bit of piping. These aren't actually going to reach each other, are they? Okay. That won't reach either. What am I doing? Let's just do... I was going to say let's just do a regular bit of pipe here, but... On second thought... Um, that would just happen to be the wrong distance to connect here, wouldn't it? I want to use pumps and stuff for maximum throughput here. How fast can water go through an electric boiler? I don't think there's any reason we needed to disrupt this bit of um, belt, actually. I'm not going to like the shape of this no matter what, I think. not going to be able to flow down to there, is it? Can water flow through this that way? I think there was some surprising results of one type or another. How fast can this make water? 4.1k per second. Even without beacon, it is very, very much... Um, It's very much bottlenecked on the pipes. So the fewer of those we can use, the better. It's not going to work out the way we want it. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Unless I could just do, like, Pipe, pump, pipe, pump, pipe, pump. That's as fast as it's going to get. Except if we're limiting the speed of this one based on this one, and this bottleneck's here, it's not going to matter if... if we can get more throughput over here. I could move all of this down even more. That might make a lot of sense. 
and then we can have um hopefully some sensible storage right here yeah let's consider that Okay, so directly into storage containers. We can definitely do that. There'll be at least one output for each of them. I don't think we can line it up so that there's two outputs to storage tanks. Uh, unless... Uh, of course, that wouldn't line up over here as well. I could move this over one, perhaps, so that we just have, like, three chests for each of them. That might be good, actually. Where's the middle of this one? That's That part's not perfectly symmetrical, but I can live with it. Okay. So that's some pretty good and copious uh, water storage right there. We will naturally have a... Okay, maybe we'll have a water pickup from here. Best followers, primes. Really? There we go. How long did it take you to launch your first cargo rocket? Uh, quite a while, I think. Especially since the resources were surprisingly scarce and... Um, and there were biters to deal with as well. Um, that's right, I was considering moving all of this over to the left anyway. So let's maybe do that as well. That way we can keep all of the uh, water consumers together. A long time, it's been 750 hours, I forget. Indeed. Um, so this goes here. Wait, what? No, that. That goes over there. This goes down here. Uh, this does still go this way. And as for this one, we can change that up a bit. It's a little bit weird. We could probably put the beacons up here if we're doing that as well, except I would want the beacons touching both of these or none of them, in which case we probably just move all of this down a little bit more again. Uh, one more tile, sure, why not? Alright, beacon... I can't... Uh, maybe one more tile again. 
fine. Alright. Final one. Put this one here. And this one here, I think. Not quite. Uh, this one here. That's, that's right. And we might need a beacon for these ones. I think we probably will. Uh, so. If this is... Gonna line up. So that we can... We need this down one more tile. And that way... We can push the petroleum through like this. And then... This goes here. That's... We could maybe make these line up a little bit different. Instead of having the pipes having to do a squiggly thing. That's looking pretty good. And should have done it this way. Fantastic. So we've got... Oh, we need heavy oil up here as well. Hmm. What's the... least ugly way to do that? that seems fine. Alright, so I'm hoping we can fit... A couple of light oil, heavy oil to light oil cracking machines here. And then a couple of light to petroleum about here. Maybe. A old busk. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So how fast is this going to consume water? 408 per second. 408 per second. That's all pretty manageable. Um, let's do... Some pipes. Can we not have everything just line up somehow? Not quite. Alright. Uh, we need heavy oil connected like so. And this won't reach if we do it like that. Let's do a fiver here. And like so. And then water. Um, I want to minimize the number of pipes. We'll probably have the water pipe going down this way. So... It's nine tiles, isn't it? We can't use a niner for a connection, though. Let's just do the five with undergrounds again. Well, how fast? How far does this reach? This is fine.
And just to make sure there's more throughput of water, um, we'll connect this as well. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, five, five, and three. I don't think it gets better than that. Oh, seven and nine, maybe? That is... what am I thinking? That's sixteen. Five, five, three... And then... We'll probably have the water go around both ways. Down here. We need light oil... Connected like so. I could probably. Uh, what if I move this down one tile? And then that messes this up. That, that becomes 14. That's good actually. And this becomes a 3. Oh, and this doesn't line up with heavy oil. Uh, whoops. Except we don't need as much heavy oil, do we? We need more heavy oil. Uh, okay. My mistake. We'll also connect heavy oil here, just because... I'll have more ways to get over here. Actually, most of it's going to go through this container anyway. Should probably use a pump. Except that's the only output from this one. I could connect this here as well. Do this for consistency. And then... Maybe a pump like this. Should probably do that every time as well. That's slightly upsetting, indeed. Okay. That should definitely help with the heavy oil throughput. Uh, we were going to have two sevens here. Were we not? Everything's changing. Why doesn't this line up anymore? Did I move this over to the left? Uh, I don't remember doing that. At least not on purpose. Is this max length? Yeah, it's max length. So I definitely didn't move it left or right. want... if I put a pump there... well that's not gonna work. But what I was thinking about was... if we have like... this... and a pump in this direction... fluid can go both ways but it'll tend to be over this way. I suppose. But then the pump will just keep pumping liquid in circles all day long. Is that even bad? It's gonna 
It's going to pull all of this over to this side. Which is the opposite of what's going to happen generally if we just consume from here. Um, also, that's not going to be what we want. It might be worth a try. Okay. Let's say tentatively that we do that. Or maybe like this would be better. We also need a pump to control cracking, um, which kind of means we actually just need a pump to limit light oil coming out of this and going into the storage. So rip that idea, I guess. Except... We also... Okay, so it... So this doesn't connect here because we need the light oil from here to come over here. How can I... line this up? This beacon is actually surprisingly unhelpful. Um, we could probably put it somewhere like way down here and it's going to be much easier to arrange this okay um, I could move these apart one tile and then we could use the light oil output from the side So that we could... Nah, that's not going to matter. That needs to... Not. Well, if it's going to be there, it may as well. Could we maybe use these inputs instead? That might be better. This goes here, and this goes here. Um, could probably bring this down this way. What's blocking me? Right to ground. volume out here and here, that's actually very helpful. Would it be any easier in any way if this? Definitely not. Um, we'd have to get rid of that pipe there. Heavy oil. Only going this way. Water, water. We're already connecting the water there anyway. We could do this light oil down here. So some of the cracking would go directly here as well. But considering the shape of these pumps, I don't think it's going to matter. 312 per second. Probably not. I wish there was a way to rate calculate how much cracking we should have. It would be a very complicated estimate. Let's just make that look a bit more uniform. Um, so we need 
water uh, here. Oh, that's one off. That's actually kind of helpful. Uh, does that mean we can maybe move this up? If this was here, that would work. Then that would be in the way of that thing. No, this, this is about as good as it gets. Let's put this here. One off. Yep, always. Let's bring our spiders down. Uh, water is going up here somehow. Seven is one too many. Tragic. One, two, three. It's fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Nine and nine is eighteen. So nine, seven, and one. We're not gonna reduce the pipe count. Oh, that's the wrong connection. Well then. We probably can move this up a couple of tiles. Uh, put this here. And this goes here. Five is one too many. Unfortunate. This is probably, what, seven tiles? Yep. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could do seven and two. That doesn't change anything. And I could actually put this... That would overlap with this one. Okay. I think that's just about it. Uh, we do need to... Can move this down a tile? Not even. Uh, will the underground reach? I don't think so. Oh, yes. Let's make that a 7. And that a 9. And actually... Make that a 7 and add a pump. So that's our cracking, I think. And we have what we need to... Um, to control our cracking as well. I could remove that little bit of pipe if absolutely necessary, but I don't think it will be. We could let a trickle go into cracking heavy to light, just from one machine at all times. Well, I say a trickle, it could be 200 and, uh, 176 um, heavy oil per second, which is like... It's less than enough to keep one of these machines going. Alright, so if we're... We want to crack heavy to light. I guess these two pumps have the same function, so this doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to crack heavy to light when heavy oil is greater than light oil. And we're going to crack light to petroleum when light is greater than petroleum. Fantastic. So that gives us water and the big three. 
We also need lubricant, chemical gel, and cosmic water. And I think that's it. Wait, why are there seven here? I said water and the big one, two, three. And then I said lubricant, chemical gel, and yeah. Okay. Are we going to have room for seven pickups? Hey, Noxyway Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We can do four of them here. And I think... Um, let's see. Is that going to have room... Yeah, it should do. We'll flip this. What are we doing here? Um, we're finally doing a oil build in the rail block instead of just relying on the old main bus base because chemical gel is getting very slow. Uh, so chemical gel is nothing but fluid, so that's at least going to make it easy, logistic-wise, from this point. Um, first we need cosmic water. This is the part where I get a little bit concerned that fluid throughput isn't going to be that good. Is it a decontamination facility or a life support facility? Decon. Okay. Using coal liquefaction, indeed. That's going to be coal right here. And we're direct in putting the ice, um, just to simplify that bit of logistics. that wouldn't reach. And this can go here. Okay. Looks one tile short. Uh, let's do this for consistency. And I guess that as well. Alright, so... Cosmic water. We need lubricant and water. If we... module these things for the usual target. Negative 70% power consumption. Uh, we're looking at, Jesus, um, 2.6k water. I think in order to keep up with that, we might have to do like pipe pump, pipe pump, or something like that. Let's see, water here is 816, that's manageable. At least I think it's manageable with the pipes that we have there, we'll see. But. Uh, 2.6k is a different story. So I think we'll have a couple of pipes, then a pump. Three pipes and a pump. Pipe, pump, pipe, I think is still not enough. 
maybe we should just lower our target cosmic water. 1.3k per second is uh, a decent amount, right? It's um, it's less than a minute and a half to fill a train. And then if we need more than this, we can always make more blocks. I suppose. Uh, I also have painted myself into a corner where I haven't done lubricant yet. Um, which is a mistake I keep making, although I don't know that we're going to need lubricant particularly quick. Even this... Well, let's see. How much lubricant would we need to support uh, this thing? Only 13.6 per second. We do have the ability to get it through here with undergrounds. Except it'll be taking from where we want to consume the heavy oil anyway. I set up with delivery cannon. Indeed. Um, maybe I should belt the ice and then melt it closer to where we need it. It's sort of a little bit late to consider that. But on the other hand, if we want ludicrous throughput of Cosmic Water, that would be the way to go. But I'm pretty sure... Um, I'm pretty sure just a couple of these machines... Like, I don't think we've had any trouble with Cosmic Water so far. It's really just... Um, chemical gel that's motivated us. This does need cosmic water, but one becomes two, and it's mostly petroleum. Um, still, if it's a prerequisite uh, for the chemical gel that we're here for, Then maybe. Shall Ayo, this is vanilla SE, or is it merged with K2 or something? Uh, mostly just SE and a few quality of life mods. Welcome, Fennec. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's give this some speed. And this would be 34 cosmic water per second for 68 chemical gel. 304 petroleum per second. Uh, that is... How much are we getting here? Only 326 light oil per second. I could maybe put some more speed modules in these. Um... This can consume 544 heavy oil. We have a net rate of 1,000 heavy oil here, so that's actually good. And... Light oil, 734 per second. We can consume 408. I think we probably will put more speed modules in here. We'll go for the maximum that these belts can supply us. Actually, I've got an idea. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could actually do a full belt for each of these. If we do a drop-off on the other side as well for coal. Um, like this. That gives us 90 per second. This gives us 180 per second. Um, 
So that is one full belt for each of these. Uh, if we set our beacons to be nothing but speed, I'm guessing that's going to be more than 45 per second for each of these, maybe? If not, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how far it goes. So I want the absolute maximum. Oh, wow. 44.8 per second for each machine. That's actually perfect. Okay. Also, this is in the wrong spot. So this is going to be coal. And coal. And coal. Um... And we don't need any fancy belt shenanigans here. We literally just need each of these to go to one machine. I really like the K2SE combo. Haven't really experienced SE standalone too much. But yeah, I'm doing reasonably okay. Hope the factory is treating you well. Thank you. Um, if there's one thing I would change uh, with this playthrough, if someone's considering a playthrough, whether they want to use K2 or not, I would recommend including something like AAI containers and loaders, perhaps. Uh, just having regular one-by-one -one chests and inserters is definitely uh, a handicap, let's say. Okay, so I might have to move that beacon a bit, maybe. And this one will go here. I don't particularly like having to have these line up with corners, but it's probably fine. Considering that if it was direct insertion, rate calculator tells us that, uh, that one inserter would be just enough. Actually, I just want to double check. Yeah, three is definitely not good enough. Okay. Although, I could probably... No, this is fine. Hey, Hughes Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so... I'll have this... Let's go over here. Actually, I think I'll have them all go down and then to the side. Go there, that would go there. And we might move this beacon if possible. That doesn't quite touch all of them. This This is a little bit annoying. If I move it here, this one's double touched. Uh if I move it up here. That one's not in range. I could just remove this storage tank. And then it wouldn't look nice and symmetrical over here. But maybe if we snuggle this thing in this in, in this spot. That'll look mostly organic. At least that's what we'll tell ourselves. And this one goes here. That 
that's actually... At least these two reach pretty well. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three? Oh, I see. These should probably all move up a time. Or I could just... Make this go over here. Yeah, I can probably live with that. Okay. And we might speed beacon these like crazy as well. Minimum consumption stays the same. And it will be managed by pumps. Alright, so that gives us... Uh, 268.8 over 6. Slightly less than a full belt. How many inserters do we need for this, actually? Uh, allegedly only 1.618. And this, I'm guessing that's direct insertion. Hopefully the inserters can keep up. If not, we'll just have to use more pipes here for the steam. So that we can fit the inserters. I seem to remember, for some reason, putting a circuit connection on these inserters. Uh, so that we limit actually making, actually doing the coal liquefaction here. Everything less than 20k. We're leaving... We're making sure there's a bit of room in this for some reason, but I think that was probably just like with the water limitation. No, I was... Oh, there was a reason for it up here. It's because heavy oil is an output from scrap. Um, but we're not going to be processing scrap in this block. There's nothing that's going to output heavy oil as like a side product, unless you count coal liquefaction itself, which mostly produces heavy oil. Uh, so I think... That's fine. There's no reason to limit these. Um, I could maybe remove some of these containers. This could all move over a couple of tiles. These machines are just so big. I would love to have, like, one of them directly putting the water where it needs to go. So that we don't have to worry about pipe through, uh, pipe throughput. What's your CPU? Uh, let me check. Z? Um, oh, there we go. Let's just check we can fit a train there. Yep, no problem whatsoever. Fantastic. And signal this as well. That's wrong. Why does this look so asymmetrical? That goes up and left. That goes... Is it because this thing is actually further into the roundabout? Yes, it is. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, CPU. Uh, I7 10700F. <clears throat> Okay, we need petroleum and we need cosmic water. Should we do like a line of these? We were struggling to keep like a couple of these machines going at full speed here. But uh, this might be a bit different. I mean, this, this block is going to be faster than our main bus block. Even if we do pump the water down this way. Which we probably will. Um, we need lubricant as well. Let's put these over here for now. And... How much lubricant do we actually need? Cryonite slush and heavy oil. I don't think so. Uh, if we were to connect like this. This could go at only 224 per second. I think I was expecting more somehow. Uh, that's probably fine. This one happens to line up perfectly, so let's use that. Is it under the beacon? It is not. Uh... I might be able to beacon all four of these. Just barely, by the look of it. Nice. So quite high end, just trying to see what EPS I'd get at the same stage. Usually more of an early game person. Yeah, it is pretty brutal. Um, I, I definitely don't have like a the best uh, computer anyone's ever built, but uh, I don't know how people get 60 UPS late game uh, space exploration. But I'm far from an far from an expert in that respect. Okay, would this keep up with lubricant? This would very, very easily keep up lubricant-wise. Okay, that's good. Um, how much heavy oil do we make? 1.74k net, if we're not cracking. So we can very, very easily... I don't think we've ever had trouble keeping up with lubricant either. How fast is this? Only 160 per second. So I think just having a couple of these in each block is going to be more than enough. In this game, it's RAM speed and not CPU bottleneck. Yeah, uh, my RAM speed is... The maximum I can do on this motherboard is relatively low. It's a uh, 2.9 something. A bit below 3,000. Um, and... Once I finally got that second stick, uh, that, under certain circumstances, gave us like 15 to 20 more UPS. Uh, so that is... I could definitely believe that RAM is the main bottleneck um, for Factorio. When you scale everything up. Which, I mean... I don't know about newer versions, but definitely older versions... Uh, 
I've definitely seen Factorio run very, very well on a toaster. So I would probably hazard a guess that um, it's really mostly just RAM speed that you need to worry about. Thought it'd be CPU? I mean, it's intuitive. There's so much stuff happening at any given time in a big base. Um, how should I rotate this? It's really only water that's the bottleneck to make these things. I kind of want... I I'm really tempted to scrap this and have a belt for ice and just have one of these machines in various places. I think we probably will do that. What I know, it is CPU, but single CPU, not multi-CPU, that's the problem. It runs single core, yeah. Okay, well, let's not be too afraid to scrap what we've done uh, with ice and water. We can probably support um, everything up here with just one of those machines um, when it comes to melting ice. Uh, wait, what? It also does steam to water. When would you ever convert steam back to water? In this game. Okay, could I... I don't think there's a way to make this line up. I mean... Oh, this would output the water to where the steam is supposed to go as well. But we could fix that. And then... 3B would be too long. We could maybe... Do like this. That would be fewer pipes. The vulcanite process? Oh, yeah. Vulcanite. Let's see. Uh, we need to wash the vulcanite. And then it takes water as an input and steam as an output. So that alone, converting the steam back to water would be very useful. Yeah, good call. Game kept freezing randomly, definitely trying to keep up with all the texture slash code work. I don't think I've ever had Factorio crash. And from water you can void it using the void by steam. Yeah. I was um I was using a power switch and a steam engine to effectively void the steam. That's gonna output to only one of these pipes. Is that bad? I don't think so. Okay, so 
We've got net positive 2.8 thousand water from that one machine. Uh, it would consume 41.6 ice per second to do that. That's pretty hardcore. Um, but I think I like where this is going. We'll do a typical... Oh, we're only going to squeeze one or two belts of ice down here. I think we'll do like 90 per second ice output. There's plenty of room if we decide we need more later. But that should be, frankly, a ludicrous amount of ice. And I don't need this anymore. Uh, should have kept the inserters. Multicore would help the game a lot too, at least with crazy setups like the balancer mod thing. Not a video game programming expert, but I feel like Factorio is the most solidly programmed and optimized game I've ever played. It's definitely up there. Um, I'm extremely impressed with how much Factorio can do on even a modest machine before it starts slowing down. Never encountered a single bug despite the max massive levels of complexity. Never ran into lag issues. Yeah. Um, I, it, I never saw the game slow down until I got pretty far into a game making city blocks like this. Um, it's definitely nothing to scoff at, optimization-wise. Okay, so that's, that's more than enough water for all of this. Quite easily. Um, this only needs, only needs 1.3k. But I may be... I think, though, I will have... How will I do it? I want to have another water thing down here. And... We'll run a pipe... up this way. Well, that's kind of perfect. That's for these two. And we'll have some water output right here. Um, for the decontamination facilities. How did we lay these out before? There's nothing too special about this. I don't think there's going to be... Tentatively, I'm saying there won't be any particularly great way to lay these out. Um, yeah, because it's going to be all water on one side and lubricant goes in the sides. No matter what we do. I'd like to do four of these. That should be... Super overkill, which is fine. If we do it like this, lubricant input, it's too long. Why is this six tiles? Do... Oh, wait a sec. We could do lubricant here. And then... I don't know, it might be more convenient to have the output that way.
We hardly need any lubricant input, so the shape of the uh, input pipes doesn't really matter. And then... How long is this? Seven? Perfect. How are we getting the water in here? I think we should probably shape it primarily for the water coming in. Um, because that's... That's the number one problem here. So... Scrap that. Uh, water goes this way. Move this over one tile. And we can... Reduce our pipe count. So this alone... And easily keep up with the water that we need. Um, we'll put a stack inserter or two here to pick up the ice. And the same goes for this one. Do a little underground, since that just happens to fit perfectly. Like everything else in Factorio, starts like a mod. Factorio mod as well, just for the challenge, what'll they do? There's a multi-thread mod in RimWorld. I'm very impressed with some of the things that that can be done with mods. Like the idea that you could make a mod to do multiplayer for any game. Uh, that was kind of a, I would almost say a shock to me that that can be done. Um, how much the actual cosmic water output is relatively slow. If you can get more UPS using the host hardware. Also, Diakos, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh... Volbatic, good to see you again as well. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Got more caught up in what was being said than noticing new people coming in. Myclat, good to see you again as well. I think it just takes some less important processes and throws them to a different core. Although it's been a while since I've seen that thing. That would definitely help, I suppose. Okay. Uh, so this is Ice Dropper. I I'm definitely glad we did this version. Um, we can easily add some inserters if necessary here. Uh, theoretically, we need one and a half stack inserters, if that was direct inserting, to keep up with this. But on the other hand, we can do like six or seven, uh, five to seven times the water throughput we need in this pipe network. Over here, we might actually need an extra inserter. How's it going, Mike? Okay, so we've got. Um, Cosmic Water, Lubricant, the big three. Um, we need to do Chemical Gel. I should also maybe put a little bit of thought into the shape of our output stations before we paint ourselves into a corner. Let's see that we can actually do this first. 
that is one, two, uh, three, four. Oof. That actually doesn't... Oh, it does touch cosmic water. Okay, that's going to be our cosmic water pickup. No worries there. Although... Hmm... I don't know where... we could probably change this. And the main output pipe for cosmic water... Uh, is gonna have to... snake up this way. Could maybe use an underground here instead. That should be fine. Oh wait, this will connect if I do that. So this has to be a fiber at most. In which case we don't need to change whatever it was we were doing here. Max output is way less than pipe normally handles. Um, if we do four of these, that's 136 per second. We could do 448. I think we're going to be bottlenecked on petroleum. Let's assume that all of these and the cracking are going at full speed. That gives us 716 petroleum per second. We're already close to that with just two of these machines. Uh, so where are we going to put this? Ideally... I wonder if we could just direct output from the petroleum. And, or should we have like a pump, even? That would make it easier to get the, um, cosmic water where we want it, I think. Actually, the length of that underground pipe is inconvenient. But what are you going to do? Actually, what are you going to do? This could go somewhere like here. Good morning. Looks like the cosmic water connects to a lube output. Uh, does it though? Yes, it does. Good call. What are we going to do about this? If I move this over one tile, it's going to connect here. We probably need to connect the lube in a different way. Like this. How many tiles is that? Seven? It's seven. One, two. Uh, that'll be... Slightly unfortunate, but 
We'll live. We'll probably have the lubricant output down here somewhere. So this is definitely cosmic water. Um, I want to connect the rest of the cosmic water to this as well. I don't want to move this over a tile because I want the minimum number of pipes here. Although it would probably eliminate this problem. We could move this over one, then there's an extra pipe here. No, I think because cosmic water itself is so slow, uh, this will be fine. These two are already connected, so actually we could just do it like this. And then, it also has the added benefit of separating the cosmic water output from what we're putting into the space manufactories. Oh, wait, that's only three of them, isn't it? Okay, forget I said anything. That goes there. And how are we going to... Oh, that's right. That was the entire reason we moved this over. Let's put a 7 over here. And that looks kind of weird, so why don't we just pipe it like so. After creating circuits, piping is the biggest head-scratcher in this game. Apparently still holds true when modding it to hell. It's because of all the, um... Well... Part of it is the drop-off of pipe throughput, the more sections you have. I think you should be pretty close to finishing, I hope. Uh... Indeed. About five minutes. The West dude. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so this is Cosmic Water. This is a lubricant. We'll probably put that there. And... Con uh, I nearly said Cosmic Gel. Or oh, Contaminated Cosmic Gel. Um, that can probably go down here. I would prefer if they output to the one pipe like this, but it's only 136 per second anyway. Um, we really don't have to worry about the shape of the pipe for this one. Just to confirm again, we're going to be bottlenecked on petroleum and... This is already only a little bit net positive patrolling. So... Unless we want to add more capacity to... to drain from a stored amount of petroleum. But overall that's really not going to work. You'll blow all your UPS before reaching rocket ships? Possibly. That is why I try to take EPS into consideration a little bit these days with some of the builds. It, I, I don't like that I have to take that in, into consideration, but what are you going to do? Alright, so that is... 
Just check those don't connect. Fantastic. That'll be chemical gel. Uh, I've done this, this, and this. And now we just need uh, the big three. Heavy oil, um, light oil, and petroleum down here. So, the only question is how we're going to shape it. Also, wait a minute, is that without a beacon? It is. So, all of these are fully speed beaconed, uh, even if we're cracking constantly and constantly running these machines. We're doing 716 petroleum gas per second. And just with those two space manufactories, we're consuming almost all of it. Wow. Okay, then. You should include the beacons in your select zone. Uh... No, it doesn't matter. So, for example, this one, lubricant, uh, 224 per second. We're going to remove the beacon. And now it's only going to do 104 per second. So we count them in the calculation. Yeah, the rate calculator doesn't work that way. Although you do have to make sure the beacons are powered with rate calculator. Uh, there's another mod called Max Rate Calculator. I believe you don't need to do that. But I've already gotten used to this one. I uh, don't particularly feel like changing. Good to know. No worries. Alright, so... We need some pipe. I guess we'll put petroleum and light oil at the spots that are cons uh, where the trains have the shortest trip in and out. Um, not that it'll make a whole lot of difference. Let's do a 15 out here somewhere. Um, this will be light oil, I suppose, because it just lines up perfectly. And we'll need a pump as well. How many tunnels is this? Or is this max length? And then, uh, let's do petroleum, like this. I need a onesie. There we go. And then heavy oil. It's not going to line up. Bring this over here. Wait. That's light. Hang on, that's light oil in the middle. That's petroleum down the bottom. So heavy oil should be here, actually. Oops. It would be one tile off, wouldn't it? Okay. Quite a bit of empty space here, but that's what you get with the uh, 
wide area beacons and super fast machines. All right, just about time to request our inputs, I think. Mushrooms are bad. Mushrooms are a fungus. Uh, Ophiocordyceps. Am I pronouncing that right? Zombie apocalypse realized. Mushrooms are bad. Don't believe me. Oh, okay. Um, so we could fit 14.4 trainloads of coal here if we want, and it can consume six belts at a time. So let's go for like 10 trainloads. 80,000. And then... Ice... I think we already set this up, we just didn't switch it on yet. A uh, hundred... Oh, that was before we increased the number of chests here. Uh, this is four train loads of ice, that should be fine. We also need some electric boilers. I don't think we've got those here. Boiler... Um. Oh, I forgot it takes a little while for this to tick over. Um. I can change... Oh, it's about to tick over anyway. There it goes. And we're making electric boilers. Fantastic. Uh, we are requesting pipes, but first we have to remove some of this stuff. I dare say there are some slight differences between ant brains and those of humans. Probably. I think we were probably not making holmium accumulators, um... Possibly just because there was no room in the chest for girders. But on the other hand, we might still be having some throughput issues with Iridium. Let's see. Girders. There's only 1.2k here, so probably. What on earth happened here? This, this has a balanced loader. Each divided by 48. 48 chests. Provide stack threshold 160. Um, somehow this got imbalanced enough for the train not to go anywhere? It'll fix itself in time, but I may as well go over there and sort that out. So I don't know how it got this way in the first place, unless I took some Iridium plate from here, but it doesn't look like... I mean, I would have rebalanced it if I did that. Anyway, let's have a look at orbit again. It seems like we already got those 50 electric boilers. Which is far more than we need. Let's put in a request for them. I'll just put them here for now. Oh, we do have a request for them somewhere. There we go. On a meeting with ten people, everyone is silent. People who should be talking are not there. Best kind of meeting. Okay, and once we've picked up our boilers, head back here, here comes our coal. I'm surprised we don't have ice yet. Uh, it's probably because I didn't 
request it to be sent here. Uh, so, Elvis Orbit Ice. That should immediately trigger a delivery of ice right here. And ice. There we go. Is this set up correctly? Yes. And train station name. Is water ice provider. Fantastic. Let's add our icons here so we know this is done. Beautiful. Um, I'll put all liquefaction here. And we've got even more coal being delivered. Let's check. Why is there half a belt of coal here? This one's missing a belt. Oh, I think I see the problem. Yeah, I do. Now that this isn't blocked, it's doing an even unload. Uh, we didn't do a merge and split, though. And the le the belts are different lengths, and these are all unloading at the same speed. But considering we've got coal to the end of each belt, it's probably fine. Okay. So where's our ice? Ooh. It's so bright and shiny. We just need to wait for it to load up here. And then we can see if our block is working as intended. Uh, while we wait for that, we do need to do some pickup stations. Need to tell LTM what we've got in this one. In this one. And in this one. And last but not least, in this one. And then changing the names of the stations is optional. Uh, this one is heavy oil. Oh. Yeah, no, that's fine. But the station color was different. Heavy oil. We also need to bring some oil here to get the whole thing started. Um, what I might do... Instead of messing about with barrels to make that happen. Why have the spiders not placed that combinator? Because they're slightly out of range. Um, instead of messing around with barrels, we're going to request heavy oil be delivered here. You could even probably set it up Hmm. Should we do this? This could be a little tricky, but worth it, I think. Can we set it up so that this can be both a pickup and a drop-off for heavy oil? Um, I think we'll set the provide threshold to almost full for these storage tanks. And that oh, we would need to get rid of this pump. Should we do it? I want to try it. So if, if this works, we can copy paste this block and then we don't have to worry about 
uh, kick-starting the biochemical facility. I mean, the uh, coal liquefaction. And we also won't have to have a separate stop to drop off heavy oil or anything like that. So this is both pickup and drop off. Um, it should be the case that we don't get a signal for heavy oil from the logistic train stop output uh, if the train is coming to pick up heavy oil. Um, so, if I'm right about that, we just need to say for pickup, heavy oil equals zero. And for drop-off, heavy oil does not equal zero. Okay. And figure out some kind of... What's halfway between red and... I guess we'll go with green. We'll go, we'll go for the... Um... Uh, the buffer chest to symbolize this. Since the train can both pick up and drop off from here. Uh, how do I get the green color? Probably with green. The exact color of the... Uh, the chest is kind of debatable. 225 seems a bit bright when we look at it here. But I think that's probably fine. It is a it is slightly it depends which part of the chest you're looking at. Yeah, I think this'll do. Okay, so we're gonna go uh, provide threshold is 190k. Request threshold. Um, we could use a short train to get it going. Request threshold 25k. And heavy oil 25k. Short trains are allowed. Um, and actually, we should set the provide threshold much lower. So this should only get a train to deliver heavy oil here once. Because as soon as there's even a whiff of heavy oil here, this number should go positive. Well, with the request threshold, um, it should be effectively positive. Okay, here comes our heavy oil train. It is a long one. It's only looking to pick up 25,000. It's picking it up from scrap. I keep forgetting we don't have radars everywhere here. How much oil? We've got lots of oil here. It's probably going to pick up 100k. Nope, it stopped. And here it comes. Cut me some slack, it's my second language. Slack? Consider the slack cut. Um, I'm definitely not going to give everyone an, give anyone any hassle with that. So here's our oil. It takes 
one second instead of half a second to unload it. And the next thing I want to see is... Well, uh, I definitely want to see our whole liquefaction working, which it is. Beautiful. Are the inserters not keeping up? The inserters are very much not keeping up. So... Rate calculator claims we need 1.6 inserters. That's That would be with direct insertion. But two inserters is not enough to keep up with this. Uh, so we'll drain that steam and play around with the pipes a bit. Whoops. Now how is this going to fit together? Probably like this. We don't need that much steam, right? Uh, yes we do. 1.344 thousand steam is not what I was expecting to see there. Hmm. We might have to... We might have to split this up. And... So half of them is 672 steam. That should be manageable. Well, we can probably still put these close to... Uh, the biochemical facility. And then... Maybe do a 3B here. I don't think it's going to matter, actually. Since we're going to have to do extra undergrounds no matter what. Put that in the middle... Double our inserters. Add some long pipes. That's slightly annoying. How about this? That's good. That's less good. we maybe move that underground pipe? Yes, we could. Uh, underground belt, rather. So this should go here. Get rid of that. That one can move a little bit more. Why does this one not line up the same way? Okay. Bit of extra pipe, but I think it's going to be fine for the amount that we need to put through on each side. I think a different spider picked up the electric boilers and now it's in logistic trash. So I'll just do that. It's going to be the easiest way to fix that. 
Um, also, that would be water. That's not what we want. Um, still the best place to put that pipe. So I'll turn this into a se turn this into a seven. Uh, put a couple of three Bs here. Can't see where the seven would end. Five, six, seven. This one. And that should probably do it. Except for these belts. Doesn't really matter which one goes to which, as long as they all get there. Alright, spiders are coming back. How's our water throughput here? Wow. Oh my god. Um, it is still bottlenecking on water. This is... This thing is going literally as fast as it can. The inserters are keeping up. One, two, three, four pipe units away. And these two, or at least one of them, is slightly bottlenecking on water. Not a whole lot we could do about that, I guess. Except maybe... Put a pump here? Or shift this whole thing down so it's pointing the water straight there and put a pump. Uh, we forgot to connect lubricant over here. Hmm. Since just one of these can easily, easily keep up. Uh, with the lubricant requirements. I think I will just connect this over here. How long is this? Four tiles. Tragic. Okay. So now we're going to see... Even even more bottlenecking on water here, I think. Lubricant. Oh, the, it's bottlenecking on heavy oil. Well, I guess that makes sense. Especially since our coal liquefaction has stopped. Uh, why has it still stopped? We've got steam here. We've got steam here. Oh, I see. I forgot this part. At least there's somewhere we can put this that looks uniform. Okay. And we'll see coal flowing down this way in a moment. Um, once this bit of coal moves. Which is going to happen once this heavy oil moves. Wait, what? Heavy oil output. Oh, that's heavy oil input. Oh, oh, okay, we missed this thing. Okay. So that gets... All of our coal moving. Very nice. Seems like our station is working as intended. If it's got pretty much any heavy oil at all, we're not going to get a drop off here. Fantastic. And 
we're not having any trouble with steam all the way at the end or in the middle. No, nope. if anything, it's actually coal, even though... Even though we've got four inserters. Um, I think it's actually the shape of them. It's creating a gap here. Let's use bigger dollies. Okay, this is actually kind of in insane. Um, so much for needing... Uh, 1.6 inserters. We're not keeping up with 4. Should we go even more here? Wait, if, um... If coal isn't... If we're never seeing... If we're always seeing a gap here, we are consuming everything that gets put on the belt, which is 45 per second. But rate calculator says this can consume 44.8 per second. Oh, it's not a solid. Oh, that's why. Yep. This isn't. This isn't 180 per second. Um. This is 90 per second, but the way I've got this laid out. It won't do 180 per second. Uh, I think we have room to fix that. And I think I have a blueprint for it, although I could do it from memory. There we go. So that goes there, 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 and there. So now we really might need more inserters. Let's see. Still seeing this flicker red, but it should take a little while to get caught up. I think that's it. Yep, that's... It does drop down into the single digits occasionally. But that'll do. Looks better now, thank you. Commander Kazai, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Cool band name, thanks for the yay. And thanks for the applause, Vold Barty. It's not inter speed since Cole isn't backing up. Uh, not insert of speed since Cole is backing up. The problem is the gaps in the coal. Yep. Got it in one. Big Clown, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Salanza, welcome, welcome. Johan Anderson, welcome, welcome to you as well. Need more faster? Always. What an insane production. Uh, thank you. Okay, so as expected, it seems like we're bottlenecking on... Why does the petroleum have no output? Oh. Oh. Because we don't have that much light oil yet. Okay. If we just let it go, um, we're going to end up with no light oil to crack to petroleum anyway. So this is already the speed limit that we're going to run into. Uh, we are probably just accumulating light oil for now, though. Until we need it somewhere else. 
Okay, so that's pretty insane, uh, which is good. Let's make another rail block here. Uh, let's get our scaffolding spiders, who still have quite a bit of scaffolding on them. I might just send them up here directly. And let's double this thing. Because why have enough when you can have enough times ten? It's only like a dozen... Let's see. How many is machines is this? Uh, four plus fourteen, eighteen... It's like 19 machines, uh, 23 if you count the boilers. So I don't think that's going to be the big impact on our UPS. There's a lot of builds I could redo on the ground with uh, wide area beacons as well, except that the energy for wide area beacons is easily affordable in space and not so much on Navis. Although we could just keep spamming um, the tier 2 solar panels and accumulators now. Speaking of which, how many of those accumulators did we make here? We're still trying to make them, we still have no heavy girders. We also are putting way too many holmium cables and accumulators in the requester chest. Um, I could put holmium cable in these ones. That would definitely help. Once we do that, we need to add it to our blacklist the things that go in these requester chests. Excuse me. So we need another constant combinator here. Cable. Uh, holmium cable. Negative one million. That is connected to a green wire that touches all of these requester chests. Um, which is going to prevent having requests for these things. 20,000 accumulators, though, is 400 stacks, which is like, let's just call it 10 chests. So we're still going to say have the same problem here. Unless I disable multiply results by input count, which um, reduces the amount that we're requesting by way too much. I might... I, I can fix this with two combinators. Um, I don't like that I need to do that. Well, okay, the thing is, I, I could multiply, I, I, I could remove multiply results by input count and just multiply it by a constant, which, that would just be one arithmetic combinator. Uh, if we're doing something like cargo landing pads, that would be 5,000 of each resource which would be a disaster. Although, in the case of cargo landing pads, the concrete and steel is included in that blacklist. Uh, but what I want to do is have a, have a ceiling, basically, and use the same numbers here. And the, and the second trouble with that is because of the different stack sizes. 
um, that st ceiling would be a different number. But if we were to say... Um, hmm. This would actually take more combinators than I think I would like it to. Oh, we were gonna rescue this train. It seems it sorted itself out. Let's rebalance this. Well, that means we do have Iridium Plate flowing, which is good. Although it looks like we just ran out of that. Girders are... I don't really know how fast our girders are going. Over the last hour, we've had two spikes, and it's mostly zero. 224 per minute. I guess that's not as bad as I expected. Um, but yeah, thinking about how to do this, we can have like each greater than, okay, each less than or equal to some arbitrary maximum, let's say 500 output each, and then each greater than 500, output each times 1, and then times 500. Uh, so the inputs would go here, that goes there, and then that goes there. So that's three combinators. Um, just to have an arbitrary cap. I don't particularly want to add three combinators to each of these machines, especially when... Um, especially when we've already got three combinators per machine. Four or five if you count the crafting combinator and recipe combinator. Maybe Stack Combinator would help? Uh, yeah, I haven't tried that mod yet. But... Supposing we do have Stack Combinator. You can input, like, a type of thing and it'll spit out the stack size, right? So that's... That's, that's another Combinator. <laughs> um, at least one more Combinator. Yeah, I just don't want to use that many combinators for this. That's the only problem. Alright, so we've got our rail block here. Let's grab our spiders. We input the amount of stacks you want output. Hmm... So you can... Oh, depending on the functions it has, we could drop it down to one combinator, from what you're telling me. It helps with items that have different stack size, yeah. Oh, this, uh... This is gonna have to move. Where's the leader? Well, it's pretty obvious where this goes. And there's no wiring to worry about. If we understood each other problem correctly, yeah. I'll definitely look into it. It does make me a little bit nervous to add mods or update the game or anything this far into such a long playthrough. Um, I did just add, uh, Auto Trash. I love that I don't even have to do anything manually to get the 
get the heavy oil here to get this block started. That's very cool. Back to the mall with you. Alright. Let's see where our bioscience is. Um, we still haven't got any. Products finished, zero. So we haven't had a single delivery of catalogs yet. What's the problem? Do we still have the 7.9 thousand biological catalogs? Yes. And we still haven't got any regular ones. I mean, broad. We need biochemical resistance, biomechanical. Biocombustion. We built that ages ago. And biomechanical. Alright, let's start with combustion. Combustion is lacking plasma stream. That's not what I was expecting. Plasma stream... I guess we're just not making plasma stream fast enough? Um, okay. Should we make another block for plasma stream then? Probably wouldn't hurt to just copy this block. Uh, it's probably also... It doesn't look like it's bottlenecked on chemical gel just yet. Because the actual rate of consumption of chemical gel is fairly slow. Probably should have separated these into different blocks, but it's fine. Oh, let's not miss this bit of rail. Get them to go through the mall before they get there. Um, alright. What else are we bottlenecked on here? Biomechanical data. Which is lacking biomass. Well, there's some biomass here. It's actually... Uh, is this all connected? Contaminated biosludge output is nowhere near full. Uh, on this side it is. Okay. So we forgot to connect those. Thank you for the follow, Minoc. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. One streamer played Factorio with Stack Combinator. Had to delete this mode because of performance. Had huge base and one of the big FPS UPS consumer was this mo this mod. So be careful. Yeah. Okay then. Um. How are we going to connect these? It's not going to keep um, biomechanical going for too long, I think, because we've effectively still got half the block working. We're just going to run out of this biomass that we've got stored here once we do fix this. But that's definitely not a reason not to fix it. Thanks for that info. Picking it from my base two, then. Okay. Um, this is actually looking really difficult. We just need to get this to this. Just. Oh. This should probably just... Connect over... Uh, not quite like that. I 
think this will be it. 15 is too long, right? I don't know why this goes from 9 to 15. About 14. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve. 14, 13, 12. That's just cool. The 9 and the 3, I suppose. Yeah, that was easier than I anticipated. Okay. Uh, we need to get our construction spiders to visit this spot. Just check your debug info, it might be a different set of mods and so on. But your debug should tell you how big the problem might be, yeah. Alright, so we're not carrying that many plasma generators at once, but other than that, this build is complete. Fantastic. And so that should fix, or at least help, with biocombustion data. Uh... We've done a short-term fix for biomechanical data, but I think it's I think it's biomass that's the problem here. I we've got lots of biomass here though. I was gonna say we didn't connect the wire, but we did, we just forgot to turn that constant combinator on. Which is normally not something that is an issue if it's a provider station. Although it was just recently that I changed it, the blueprints, so that the provider station constant combinators are on by default. So this whole block that we made to make bio sludge primarily um, also makes biomass, because of course it does. Because it makes biomass from bio sludge. Um... Contaminated scrap output is full. Oh, I see the problem here. Uh, provide step threshold 160. So now it'll understand that those physical items are there as well. And this is getting delivered to a different station requesting biomass, actually. But... Uh, is that one of the data cards we're stuck on as well? It... is not? Or is it? What is this? Biochemical data. That's biochemical resistance. We've got biochemical data, but I'm guess guessing resistance requires biochemical? Or that's mechanical, biomechanical resistance. Biocombustion. Biochemical resistance, there we go. Uh, this actually only requires the experimental biomass. Experimental biomass is stuck on uh, these things, which is stuck on nutrient vats, which are stuck on uh, what exactly? Iron plate. Okay, that's not what I was expecting, and that is concerning, to say the least. Um, yeah, 
It seems we have no iron plate in space. How's our... How are our smelters looking? Well, they are making iron plate with vulcanite now. At least that one is. The vulcanite blocks haven't caught up uh, to everywhere they're supposed to be. We've got so many smelters and it's still not enough. And I'll just double check, but I'm quite sure... It's not iron ore at the moment. Well, this one's relatively close to empty. Uh, that blue light means there's one train load of iron ore here. There's zero here. Okay, I stand corrected. We could use more iron ore. There's two here, though, so... The dis distribution isn't perfect. Okay. Where else can we get some iron? I forgot, again, we haven't beaconed this. Let's fix it. Uh, I don't need construction spiders to follow me for this one. It's literally just some beacons and power switches and pylons. So currently, our iron mine here only produces 36 per second. We could probably do better than that. We've also got a little iron mine here. Um, we've got one here, here, and here. Uh, all of which are fairly big, although this one is shaped a bit awkwardly. There's also another one way over here. They're pretty remote, but that shouldn't pose too much of a challenge. Let's get our military spiders to do their thing. Uh, I think it's about time as well that we start, for example, Dumping the excess Vita Melange. Um, that's probably going to not be great for the spiders, actually. That path. Now I have to redo it. So many expansions. Wait, where did we even put them before? It's fine. Maybe I should add even more military spiders so they can go on longer trips. Just the sheer ammo capacity. Unfortunately, if you put the ammo in the trunk, uh, they're not going to shift it into their rocket launches. Okay. Check on him a little bit later. Alright, we've got our beacons, uh, so this will go at 528 iron ore per second. That's a little bit better than 30. That might help. So now the question is just... Where should we... Uh, put the power switch. Kind of like that, touching those all the time. Let's get rid of this one. We're going to want... Oh, I didn't get the spiders to build these. There we 
yo. Disconnect these from the main network. Get rid of those. over here, move all the wire connections, connect like so, add a power switch, add a... I don't have any accumulators, I'm going to make one. Uh, I think we have some here actually. See how far that green wire is going to reach. It should be fine. Alright. Uh, except we need the combinators to be on the side that's always powered. And this reach down here. Not quite. We'll cheat a little bit. No condition connected to the belt. A for accumulator charge, output green signal, output red signal, if it's greater than 99%, if it's less than 95%, if green signal greater than red signal, output one green signal, connected to its own input, and on the power switch, Green greater than zero. And last but not least, we need to connect these like so. Uh, so once our accumulator is full, uh, we're going to see this power switch switch on. Considering the solar panels are fully charged. Oh, the accumulator is on the wrong side of the power equation here. All right, so let's let's make another accumulator. Um, and I need to handcraft it. All right, so forget about this connection. Connect this one here. Is my RoboPort not on? Oh, the accumulator got put in my trash slots. There we go. I like how the uh, bot will not take the accumulator from my trash slots to build, but it will take it from my hand. It's a bit rude. Alright, so this is connected to the main network. Um, and of course we just got this working while the sun is going down. So we're not going to see that functional just yet. We'll check back in on this in a few minutes. But that should be all it takes. We do have the whole thing running very slowly off of solar panels. Um, and I do mean very, very slowly. While the sun is going down. 
Also, these ones are running 24-7, just without the uh, beacon. Actually, I want to check something. Uh, effect sources... 6... That's just the... Mining speed... Minus... The mining speed keeps fluctuating because of power. But I'm curious as to whether a very poorly powered beacon uh, speeds this up. It, even if it effectively doesn't because it sucks up too much power. I'm guessing probably yes. Okay, next is... That's probably enough to help already, but let's make another mine. And we'll get our construction spiders in on this like I should have brought them over here in the first place. Uh, so, maybe I should make a new blueprint. That'll make it easier, uh, easy to include the power switch. But I think it's already like that, actually. Alright, we need some rail coming over this way. Let's do the thing where... how many stations is this? Three? Let's do the thing where we just have parallel stations. That's also going to be one tile down again. Okay. I could probably use a regular pile on here. So that we can run the big drills without the beacon at night. We just need a island substation on each side. Regular pylon down here. Disconnect this one. Connect these like so. Uh, and then we need a power switch between these two. We'll copy what we just did over here. Oh, the shape might be a bit different, actually. That should be fine. And once again, we need a emulator. Construction spiders are a bit far away. Is the stream okay? I think so. It says we've dropped 0.4% of uh, frames. Seemed to crash for a bit. Anyone else? Alright, so this should be... Well, this will be connected to the main network. Um, and we'll see where this conveniently connects. I think we'll do it like this. And like so, this time. So it wasn't only me. How long was it down for? Twitch hiccup. 
Okay. Yeah, I was very pleasantly surprised um, just when I was about to chase it up. Uh, after the flooding, my upload speed was much worse than it was before. Uh, I procrastinated a little bit, uh, partly because I had other things I had to sort out. Uh, and was finally about to call someone about hopefully getting it back up to a point where we could stream at 60. Uh, and I did a speed test and it was just, oh, even more upload speed than I had before. I'll take it. 10 to 15 seconds. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a bit stressful having an issue like that because uh, a decent internet in Australia isn't something you can just necessarily have. There's a bit of luck involved. Did it just do it again? Oh no. Yeah, we're dropping frames. We're dropping frames constantly at the moment, actually. Well, I'm just going to keep going and hope for the best. Uh, hopefully it doesn't last. Maybe someone's uploading something. Then again, I'm 30 seconds behind the action. It just jumped back to green. And yellow. And red. Lovely. Okay. We'll see how it goes, hopefully... If it keeps going like this for another while, I might have to stop for today. Uh, so that's going to be... That'll be fine. Let's get our construction spiders over here. I've actually got it set to 6,000 kilobits a second, but it jumps up to like 20 sometimes. It seems like it's trying to catch up. Are we good? Nope. Uh, Alright, we need some pylons. And that's our connection to the main network. Oh, these solar panels aren't doing anything uh, at all, I think. Yeah, I might have to... Hmm, where can I put this? 
If I make this a substation pylon. And that goes there. That should, yeah, that should do the trick. That should be fine. Stream seems okay to me. All right. Well, I hope that's correct. I'm seeing it. Okay, it seems to be green again now. Someone probably had something to upload or something. That's a little bit frustrating considering we've actually got enough bandwidth now to like to run two of these streams at the same time. But I'm sure many of you are aware the norm with local networks um, is whenever you're trying to upload or down so download something, your system will just try to take all of it without the slightest consideration for anything else. Okay, so we've got a couple... Oh. It would help if I finished the belts here. Also, we've got random stone, as is often the case on the belts. So I'll have to get rid of that. I uh, didn't mean to remove the splitters. I'm not carrying enough belt, am I? Uh, okay. Let's use some undergrounds. And some undergrounds. Fantastic. And watch out for that stone if we didn't pick it up already. I think I already picked it up. All good. Okay. So that is iron mine number two. Should we go for a third? I think this one is alone is probably going to turn the tide a bit. But we'll go for one more. Or two, since they're so close together. Probably... Connect this like so. And get our blueprint. This one's going to be really awkward, I think. I'm very tempted to just use landfill to fix this. Yeah, I might do that. On the other hand, uh, okay, if we can cover all of this, without using landfill, that's one tile off. We need to get the construction spines back here as soon as they've gone to the mall. That's looking pretty good. Okay, get rid 
of that. I'll probably cancel that deconstruction. I think we'll just merge this one over here. we have to change some of these belts as well. I don't think that'll reach through there. Just do it like this. some stations. Like so. That's going to be too close, isn't it? as well now. Construction gang. Here we go. Get you to come all the way over here. Actually, let's get them to build the rail as they go as well. Also, that bit of rail got built already. Fantastic. Alright, just connect this like so. The bots jump out at every little spot where the spiders technically stop. That's why we click in this pattern. Uh, this part is already fine. And we'll need some signals up here also. Let's get some substations. Actually, just the one. Fantastic. Uh, the rest over here is power switch territory. So let's put a couple of pylons here. Disconnect these ones. This connection. Power switch goes here. 
need a pump, uh, accumulator. Three, accom three accombinators? Yes. And a output green, output red, if less than 95%, output green, full, green greater than a uh, red signal, output green. Next to its own input, power switch, green, greater than zero. That's weird. Oh, wait, what? Oh, because I momentarily had this say, if A is less than 95% output green. So this memory cell is holding onto both of those. Okay. And our accumulator. What? No. Get back here. Turn off my RoboPort. Uh, accumulator goes here. A for accumulator charge goes into these two. Wire connection goes here. Fantastic. Construction spiders are still a decent distance away, uh, but barring any little mistakes, that'll be our build. Uh, that's wrong. Kind of absurd regularity how often these are one tile off lining up. It should be happening 50% of the time. Okay, that's our mine done. Let's go work on the next one before the construction spiders get here. And I think we can see the shape that we're going to go for this time. Probably straight down. Uh, it is a little bit wider than that. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's gonna take a little bit more to do this one. Oh, that's gonna have Beacon sickness. Um, we could probably just run the ones on the outskirts without beacon. Since they won't last nearly as long normally. Or we could... Yeah, that's probably fine. Or we could even run them with tier 1 beacons. Spiders are still on the move. Um, we can start on our power switch and stations. In any case. And it's one tile off again. Fantastic. One, two, three, four train stops. Uh, we kind of need to... If we're going to put the... Uh, Train stops there, we need to use some... I almost said scaffolding. Uh, the original and best kind of scaffolding. Landfill. Right. 
grab some more stone. I don't think we're going to come anywhere near, uh, anywhere close to filling this out. Construction spiders are getting closer though. It might be a bit much if all of those shared a rail. So let's do this. Dodge the uranium mine. Here we go. Those spiders can't get here soon enough. Uh, we also need to run some pylons down here. Realized that just a little bit late. Let's go do that. actually got it all done in one go. Fantastic. I'll let the bots catch up. Oh, there's a lot more of them than I expected. Probably because they jumped out to build rail. And we'll get our construction spiders to come up here. They're not even carrying regular accumulators anymore, I forgot about that. Except we haven't got... We still haven't got a steady flow of tier 2 accumulators. Because we're all, always missing heavy girders. Maybe I could prioritize them. Instead of, um... Instead of limiting... Uh, heavy girder input based on iridium plate. We'll just take as much as we can with this build. But the main thing we need to do is increase the throughput of iridium. There's no iridite. Iridite itself, we've got 5,000. It is coming through consistently, it's just not that fast. Uh, iridium ore fragments are at 16k. There should be a pickup for those relatively soon. Unless, uh, unless iridite core fragments is broken somehow. Which it doesn't look like. Okay. Um, I probably already checked this, but are there any other iridite core fragment planets we can tap? We've got Fornax. Varus is. Parent Vo Vobis. Uh, it's a very small moon as well. There's zero biters. Uh, frozen seas, humids, shrubs, exotic, flat. Okay, it's probably uh, Vobis. That's got to be in another solar system. Vobis. Uh... I'm not seeing it. 
the Moz doesn't say parent um, Nalvis, right? Oh, it does. Okay, so where where the heck is Vobus? Uh, Varus, rather. Varus is the moon of Vobus. Where is Vobus? Vobus? Uh, Calamity. I think that was that place where it reported there was a um, coronal mass ejection at the sun itself. Where do we find Calamity here? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we've already got... Um, we've already got rockets going back and forth to Morpheus in Angelus. Calamity is like twice as far. It's such a small moon as well. But on the other hand, we won't need uh, to clear any biters or anything. We can just send a rocket there, build the basic... Uh, this is actually a good opportunity to iterate on our... Our remote outpost design. Um... We can set up the simplest possible outpost. What am I looking for? Oh, that's right, I was gonna scan... Uh, Varus. Vobus is... Biter Medias. Very few biters to start with. But it's very big. Vitamelange is like the one resource we're having no trouble with whatsoever, so let's ignore that for now. But we will keep that in mind as a candidate. Uh, let's scan this. Yeah. Considering uh, Erudite is like the bottleneck that we've had for quite a while... Um, this will probably be worth the effort. Okay. Um, speaking of worth a little bit of effort, let's get some more iron. Oh, did they already drop all of their flat solars? That doesn't seem right. Oh, I think I... I think I may have made it so that only one of them... Oh, none of the construction spiders are requesting flat solars at the moment. Whoops. Not that it'll make that much difference uh, with what we're doing at the moment. Okay, uh, we need a station. We even need this one? I don't think so. 83. We definitely don't. And this goes here, this goes here. is this? Let's get some underneath things over here. Wait, is that actually... Could this actually line up this time? Move all of these over one. And yes, yes it could. Fantastic. 
Why... Why didn't it let me place that one? Oh, there we go. We've got the combinators. We do not have the combinators. Okay. So this is iron ore pickup. That is fine. Goes there and there and there. Um, this is this one's going to be awkward. Don't worry about that in a second. This one will have to go out a bit, just so it can come back in. Definitely update the Spider-Tron requests. Uh, let's see, flat solar panel. 20. Um, we'll update struct Also, should definitely have a name. we've got everything we need here, but I don't want to send the spiders off before we're done. Run out of belt or something, actually. Uh, let's mix this up like so. This part doesn't need to exist. Idea. Do you see conveyor belts when you close your eyes? I've definitely experienced that. Uh, it is called the Tetris effect, actually. Let's get the construction spiders over here for it. Uh, explode, explode. Yeah, especially when you're learning something. Uh, it could be a game of skill, it could be like mechanical skill, it could be Factorio. Uh, I find it's much, much, much more common when you're learning something new. Uh, my brain tends to... Uh, tends to want to focus on it entirely for a while, if that makes sense. Okay. Need some regular pylon right about here. Disconnect these wires. And disconnect these ones. Power switch. Emulator. Three uh decider combinators. Oh, I don't need to worry about the placement. They're all under the um umbrella of this uh, island substation, but still. I need to make another one of these. Uh, once again, 
if a something green signal, if a something red signal, green signal greater than red signal, output green signal, next to its own input. And connect to power switch. And our condition. Uh, our condition on these two. Well, let's use a red wire just so we can see what's going on here. Our condition on these two is if accumulator is full, green signal. If it's less than 95%, Red signal. And connect these. That should be fine. We're currently not charging. Uh, why aren't we charging? This is connected to the main network. 21 gigawatts. We're only consuming half of our power. What? Accumulator charge is full. As in, for the entire network. So why is this... What? Same one over here, which we built a while ago. Oh, I think it might be... In this case, it might be because it's under this substation still. But what about this local one? Same thing. I bet if we move this down here, it starts filling up. Yep. That explains that. Okay, so once that reaches 100%, uh, the power switch is going to switch on, and it's not going to switch off until it drops below 95%. Um, we seem to be missing a very important pylon over here as well. Supra Reggae, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I haven't set this one up with a power switch either, so we may as well do that while we're here. We didn't quite charge this up before night time. Oh, we did get some iron, actually. Okay, let's send our construction spiders down here. I might be able to fix it with pick a dollies. Uh, this one should be working just fine. Note, that one is covered by the island substation. It's going to be too far, isn't it? That's actually just barely out of range. Okay, so we can put a pile on here. Um... Something to consider would be, if you're going to have a circuit wire that goes everywhere, um, like this, is to just have one accumulator that you output the A to, uh, to the entire network, and you can base these decisions off of that same circuit wire every time. Okay, let's... One of these over here. It's actually a really good spot for it. Who's this? Pylon substation. Did I run out? Oh, I turned off my robo ports. Okay. This is going here. And this is going here. We need another emulator. 
I guess I'll change my personal requests so that we're not um, auto trashing all of our accumulators. Okay, three deciders, power switch, power switch. Our switch goes there. Circuit wire goes here. Green greater than red. Output green. A greater than 99. Output green. A smaller than 95. Output red. And should see that working in just a moment. Fantastic. I may have forgotten to put a condition on this power switch. There we go. And what about this one? That one's already correct. Uh, this accumulator is also under the power of this pylon. So that one was easy to fix. Uh, we need to get our construction spiders to pay this one a visit. And I can remotely fix the wiring. Actually, is that wiring already good? Uh, not quite. Very deceptively not quite. There we go. Alright, cool. So that'll switch on once this accumulator is fully charged. Why are these fully powered though. Oh, that's right. That's how I set up this one. And power switch is on. Fantastic. Alright, so... We need to move this accumulator outside of the influence of these pylons. That's actually a little bit of a tall order. What I'm going to do instead is use this accumulator over here. And we're just going to connect that like so. That a bit more readable. There we go. Fantastic. And we'll put that up there where it's always going to have full power. Right, so how much iron are we making all of a sudden? Uh, considerably more than not too long ago. In fact, we've just about doubled our iron ore production. Well, that should be fine for a while then. I hope. Um, did you just connect the input to the power switch? Uh, I fiddled around with the wiring on this... Um, it, it was functionally the same. So, for example, if I change it so it's like this, this wire is still connected to these two inputs, this input and output, and the power switch. Uh, if we do it like this, for example, as long as it's all touching and it's all connected to the same inputs and outputs, it makes absolutely no difference. 
Just didn't see that one wire. Okay. So yeah, you can do whatever you want aesthetically with that. Uh, whatever's most intuitive for you to understand is what I would recommend. Okay. I guess I could... Our spiders haven't gotten back yet. Let's bring them up here. The more my uh, the more mines like this I make in one go, uh, the less I have to the less I have to think about it for a long time. Um, so I'll grab our highway, bring it all the way up here somewhere. That's crossing oil. I don't think we're going to have oil problems for a long time, but still. Uh, let's just put rail block here. Where does it fit? There it is. Uh, the idea was to go around it, but that's not really going to work. Put one here. Get rid of this. What even is the intention behind the power switch? Just supply extra power from the main grid? Yeah, um, the, the wide area beacons are very easy to power in orbit uh, with that scale and the constant power, but they consume 10 megawatts just all the time, even when nothing's happening. Can't really see it here. Consumption 10 megawatts. Uh, that's a lot, especially when you start putting them everywhere. So all I'm doing is setting it up so that Accumulator charge has to be full, so basically we're only going to run these during the day. Um, and that way, no matter how many of these we spam, we're not going to crash our power grid um, by putting more beacons down. I could also easily add something... Uh, I because of the nature of this latch uh, circuit, I could easily add a condition like if iron ore, uh, I think 57,600 is the absolute most. Yep, 57,600. So I could read this uh, rain stop. Uh, the chests, that is, and say, if we're completely full on iron ore here, switch off the power switch. Because if that happens, we can definitely... We can definitely stop spitting out... Uh, we, we can definitely stop powering the mine for a bit. Very versatile, that kind of latch... You can put as many conditions on it as you like. I'm starting to see a bit of traffic going back and forth here. You could also have it set up, uh, have it set to pick up priority to 1 million. So its priority is clearing the station. Uh, yes. Although... Consuming iron, for example, always sorts itself out. If it's available, it will get picked. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, one little detail I forgot here. Probably already got it correct here. Yes. 
uh, very important to set encoded network ID 2 for mines in this playthrough. Because otherwise... Okay, that one's already set up. But I think these ones were based on a different blueprint. Uh, otherwise, it might just take it directly to the trash. It's not going to happen anytime soon, because... Uh, first of all... I think it's a lower priority here. Yeah. Request... Uh, request priority to go into storage is negative 100, so this tells me that already all of the iron ore drop-off stations are not requesting any more iron, although that does sound a bit soon to be happening. Considering there's less than a train load here, and we're requesting a full train load, uh, a full chests. Um, anyway. Yeah, I would have thought this wouldn't be receiving a delivery just yet. Um, but this has to be completely full of iron ore before we start dumping it here. So that's actually half a million ore, or in the case of plate, it's over a million. And I think it's about time... Oh, let's do this last iron mine first. And after that, I think it's about time to do a update to that block that destroys extra items. Um, so that we can get iron, copper, etc. out of our Vita Melange core fragments. Because we are massively, massively overproducing Vita Melange compared to what we need. At least for now. And we want those juicy, regular vanilla core fragments. Okay, so this is just slightly wider than this blueprint, which is slightly upsetting. Wait, how wide is the beacon? I wonder if we can just... Oops. I wonder if we can just make this take up a little bit more space. One hundred and three iron, fantastic. Um, yeah, we can definitely move it out at least two tiles. Se new patch will not reset item in character. Not reset item in character. Uh, I don't think I understand. Not reset item in character. Is that still going to cover it easily? Uh, also, that boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Noxyway Gaming again. After you come out of navigator mode. Not reset item in character. Do you mean like... Do you mean we don't lose like the stuff that we put in here? That might be useful. Yeah. Okay. Um, need to move this over a bit. Uh, maybe we should have this... Able to use 
both sides of the belt. It's probably fine. somewhere. Get that belt to just merge like that. We need our construction spiders. There they are. Uh, we need them to build all of this rail. This is really getting kind of remote. Right, blueprint goes here. And up here, somewhere. Bot mining doesn't really work in SE. Not going to do bot mining? I don't think so. Uh, the mines we've got are already very high throughput. Uh, we've just we're just spamming train stations so that we don't have to do the uh, balances and stuff or bottleneck it. It can work. I don't think I'd like to kill all the bots and have to bother with the logistics to resupply the bots for the mines. Better to just dump electricity in and get uh, get iron out, I think. If there was no bot attrition, maybe. Yep, that's correct. Um, okay. So we need this station. Approximately. What? Why didn't... There we go. And I think we will just do a merger for this one. All of those little hitches are because the spiders are dropping signals. Uh, not much we can do about it for the moment. Well, we could stop the spiders, but we're not doing that. Let's get our corner balancer. Fantastic. Uh, one. And a two, and a three, and a four. What? What was this? Oh, I see. Yep. There's something here. It's the uh, tree x-ray mod was being deceptive. I couldn't see where that tree was. I admit I kind of was under the impression initially that bots wouldn't crash in the first place with that research. Yeah, uh, it definitely gives that impression, I think. Okay, we need to merge 5 into 4, but this one's probably going to be a bit slow anyway. Uh, maybe not. Hmm. I think we'll just... 
merge this like so. Let me get some blue belts. And something similar over here. If I wasn't streaming, I would probably go get a drink or something while the spiders are doing that. Oh, and they've run out of rail as well. I need to get them to carry more. Let's say... I don't know how full their inventory is going to be when they're fully loaded. Um, let's go for 300. I wish there was a update button for these. And we'll get you to be our copy paste guy. There we go. Um, well, if they're not going to finish building the rail, we may as well send them back. Maybe I should get dedicated rail spiders. And this goes here. One, two, three, and four. Much easier to copy, paste, and flip, and fiddle with these little buttons to swap the sides. Uh, this little slow bee can just put this over here. And we'll do some more undergrounds to save on belt. We need some pylon substation right about here. We need to make sure the accumulator that we're about to drop is outside of said pylon substation. Put this one at max length so it doesn't connect to that other one. Power switch can go here. Accumulator. Can go here. Three decided combinators. Accumulator input. Outputs to memory cell. And to power switch. Green signal greater than zero. Mighty Mushroom. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. On the memory cell that is connected to its own input, we're going to say green greater than red output green. If accumulator charge greater than 99%, output green. And if it's below 95, output red. Fantastic. Don't forget to connect the actual power wires. And then... Uh, connect this to the power network. Oh, I think I also forgot, let's see, yeah, I think I also forgot to get the construction spiders to carry 
regular old uh, poles as well. Yeah, there should be an update button for this. Um, I'm going to start abbreviating it at this rate. Catch the last one. Copy, paste. So they're going to have big poles and substations next time. You want them mining only if the power is above 95%. Uh, that's close. Um, if the power drops below 95%, we uh, shut down. And we only switch back on once the accumulator is full. Is there a reason? The reason is wide area beacons consume 10 megawatts. Um, just constantly. Even if they're just sitting there. So... We've got plenty of power during the day, but... Um, it's a bit much for our accumulators to get through the night with those spammed all over the place. And this way we don't have to worry about it. Um, we need to update our accumulators in general, but we're still... Our target for tier 2 accumulators uh, that we're trying to make up here is 10k and we're still trying to make 10k we've basically we've been stuck on heavy girders for a long time I think let's just double check they're not in the rail network they're not and we do have a request for heavy girders yep we could probably bump that up to a long train load. But for the short term, that's not going to make a difference. Now, Iridium is just too slow. Which is why the next thing we're going to do is head to a planet far, far away. And tap... Actually, let's check on Fornax real quick. Um, there's probably another Iridite mine we could be tapped. That's one. That one's really awkward. Yeah, for the trouble that I could go to to get the Iridite, and it'd be a temporary fix. I could get more core mining going as well. I think that would probably be better. Uh, speaking of which, let's set up our... Um, our rocket. Our target is going to be... What is it called again? Varus. And we've already finished um, scanning it. Because it's so small, we won't be getting that much um, core mining out of it. But because of diminishing returns and also the slight mess that is our, uh, our first planet where we're getting Iridium from. Iridite. Um... It's definitely going to be worth setting up. We can also set it up. I'll probably set up a base over here, to be honest. Um, sulfuric acid is required for mining iridite and for mining uranium ore. We could probably mine both of these, but on the other hand, we don't actually need any more uranium. Um... But yeah, I'm thinking we'll set up our outpost over here and set up all of these mines as well as the core mining and shove it all into a cargo rocket and send it back to Nalvis. 
Um, and we'll make a block that's going to sort that uh, and deal with it. I mentioned light beam for energy early on, but missed your reaction, I think. Would that solve your power issues? Light beam. Energy beaming? We need tier 3. We, we don't have any tier 3s yet. We're struggling with throughput to get bio 2, which we've probably already finished uh, happening. Um... Let's just double check. We've got energy 1 and 2, material 1 and 2, and in theory we've got bio 1 and 2 in the rail network. But certain kinds of throughput have been bad for long enough that we're really struggling to get that to actually happen. Still not seeing plasma stream here. Oh, we have 6.9k. I don't know how long it's been since this produced anything. Look at what it enables that might motivate you. I mean, I, I understand the concept of beaming power. Energy... what was it called? Energy beaming. An intense energy beam that can be used as a weapon from the sky or to transfer, uh, transfer power where it's needed. That's awesome. Yeah, if we could beam it from space to Nalvis, that would be incredibly useful. Does it occasionally miss, though? Like, uh, like in ye old Sim City? The emitter must be in energize mode, and the target must be in the receiver. Output 1 what? Somehow I don't think that's very indicative of what's actually going to happen. It looks like it's going to be an interesting build as well. You just put solar panels very close to the sun, they mass produce electricity, then boom, you have power everywhere. That sounds absolutely fantastic. Can't wait. It also means we could dismantle a lot of old stuff. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, we've got 250 holmium accumulators exactly, and uh, 500 flat solar panels. We need 600 for what would be a good ratio on Nalvis. Solar is only 42% here, though. So that's actually probably relatively close. Um, okay, let's look at our... I, I think I'm going to sort of ad-lib a little bit. Uh, like, we'll do some changes to our usual design when we get there. Oh, wait, this isn't going to be our usual design at all. It's going to be more like uh, what we have at Morpheus. So it's basically just going to be a cargo landing pad, some circuitry, some storage, and a cargo rocket silo, and some power. We could probably get it to run off of nuclear as well, just like we did here. Especially since we've got a bunch of uranium available there. But I was more thinking, just like with Morpheus, um, we could send the nuclear fuel. Uranium is one thing that we are absolutely not struggling with at all these days. Which has been a nice change of pace. And just to be clear, this isn't jammed. We've got uh, 48,000 uranium available for pickup here, and it is a high-priority pickup. Um, and LTN does know this is here.
There's also enough stone to trigger a train pickup. Uh, I think. Or maybe slightly less than that. I probably should have put chests... I mean, I never... Okay, considering I made this a high priority pickup, I never foresaw this being um, completely full. And if we did make sure that we could pick up the stone, even though there's only a little bit more than a train load, um, it would just mean we'd process this for slightly longer until there was more uranium and less stone and so on. It wouldn't keep going for that much longer. Uh, so, we've got 200 cargo rocket sections. We should probably pack them. That might be a better idea. Um, so 40 packed. Uh, 40 of these. Do we have packing and unpacking here? Oh. For whatever reason, we've got lots of packed cargo rocket sections here. Like, way too many, actually. I thought we had a system in place to... offer them to the robot network. We do. Uh, offer them to the rail network. Um, just how many packed cargo rocket sections do we have? Oh, we can do it this way, can't we? Packed. 7.8k. And just to confirm, that's how that works. 7.8k. So, I'm pretty sure when you use L for logistic network, it points at the one you're already in. Um, but anyway, it's probably, oh, I know why. We need to be unpacking them here, because there's nowhere in the rail network that's tr requesting packed cargo rocket sections. Um, yeah. I think I might have somewhere where we're sending a rocket full of unpacked ones, which was a bit silly, but I just couldn't be bothered with the logistics on both ends at the time. Um, can I can I use the auto crafter for this? I think so. We need to connect to a robot robopod that's not in use. Uh, decide a combinator. Connect to here. If packed uh, is greater than, let's say, two chests full. Now, well, let's make it like 200, just to be sure, in case we want to send them somewhere else. Uh, output one cargo rocket section. And connect that to our list of things that we want to make. Uh, wait, no, 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 we need... Unpacking. Recipe, cargo, unpacking cargo rocket section. There we go. Okay. And I think we're going to need a lot of extra storage for the moment. And this is the reason why we ran out to begin with. You just put solar panels very close to the sun. Oh, that's right. Okay. So that should sort that out. Um, we've 
we've already got plenty of spiders here. Uh, more than enough coal mining drills. I think. Let's do a... Reactor. Say 10. Heat pipe. Um, 600. I think the usual build goes 550 something. 504. Uh, so we'll say 600 to make sure enough of it gets there. Three stacks of heat exchangers. I suspect we don't actually have these things here. Reactor 20, heat pipe. Thousand two hundred heat exchanges. Um, what else goes into nuclear turbines? Not the condenser turbine. Uh, how many is in the blueprint? 192. Uh, if we go for 200, we might not get quite as many as we need. What do they stack to? Uh, 10. Okay. That's 11 stacks of steam turbine. That's quite a bit. Um... Should probably stop making modules for a moment. Oh, right. Because we don't have the latch behavior whereby this doesn't change recipe for a minute. Every time this does change recipe, it's going to throw everything off. But it look, it's looking pretty stable, actually. So I won't worry too much about it just yet. Um, what else should we take with us? Uh, pylons and pylon substations, of course. Uh, let's say four stacks of each. Should be way more than enough. Speaking of which, we can update this design a bit. Probably do the whole thing with two substations. And probably remove those bits of pipe and accumulators jammed in there because that was really just to make room for the substations. Um, although, since we're changing the shape of this, I either need to be extremely careful building it out with um, with landfill in the game, or I need to do it in uh, uh, editor mode. What else are we bringing with us? So, so far we've got power... Bots. Um, how about a few extra roboports? We keep running out of those on our planets. 
50 might be overkill, though. We'll see. Um, we're already bringing combinators, inserters, etc. with us personally. We shouldn't need too many of those with the type of outposts we build these days. Um, let's see. Let's highlight all of this and see what we've got. Uh, kind of hard to see all of it. 11 stack inserters, 16 yellows. 1, 1, and 2. Yeah. We've got, like, barely any inserters here. The stuff that we happen to carry with us should be enough. This is... Apart from power, this is basically the entire thing. And fuel production. Just a uh, cargo landing pad, cargo rocket silo. Let's include that. And... Some circuitry. Uh, some... Signal transmitters and receivers. We'll need a uh, centrifuge just to process the used-up uranium. I'll just carry that with me. Um, but yeah. Oh, 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 oh. We need, um... I was going to say we need media defense installations, but I'm not seeing any on this planet. That's a bit of an oversight. Um. Oh, here they are. I was going to say. Okay, we need media defense installations. Ten uh, should be sufficient. Call it twelve. Just in case any are lost. And some ammo to go with it. What does it stack to? 20. Uh, let's say 100. So this is 5 stacks, 17 stacks, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Uh... 32 stacks for this one. Plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, uh, 62, plus 40, 102 stacks. Uh, this is 1, 103, um, 113, 14, 15, 6, 7, 8, 18, 120 something, plus 10, plus like 12. Okay, we're nowhere near filling up the rocket, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't need any delivery cannons at the moment. I'll carry 20 just so I don't forget later. Wait, what? I thought I... Oh, I need to change it through auto trash. Can I search? Oh, here they are anyway. Uh, later. What 
order trash unrequested items. Good. What's your solution for fuel on the new planet? I haven't been to a planet yet where I haven't been able to make fuel uh, on the spot. Um, all we need is crude oil, basically. Oh, crude oil and water. There are waterless planets, but I haven't had to go to one yet. Let's just double check. I think I did already. Frozen, seas, humid, shrubs, exotic, flat. Yep. Uh, obviously, obviously if there was no water, we couldn't really think about nuclear power. Uh, but that should be fine. And... I really want those accumulators. We need girders. We need iridium. Girders are being picked up. What's the problem here? We've got... Just a few missing from this chest. Why do our balance loaders not love us so? Max rate of girders here is 190 per second. No wonder I had this set up to go a stack ahead of the average. But it hasn't worked out so well for us here. I'm curious where this train is trying to go with the girders. It's trying to go to space. Uh, which is where the girders need to go. There's 30. <laughs> Literally 30. Oh wait, does that mean we launched a rocket? Probably not. No girders here. I don't understand how... Um, how Iridite has gotten to be just as slow as this. Okay, that helps. That's definitely a factor. Speaking of which, let's get our spiders to bring us closer to the day where we don't spend any erudite on clearing them out. Uh, the biters, that is. Those little expansion bases out of the way. kind of going right through them all. It's probably fine. Let's just double check how much ammo they've got. Uh, quite a lot still. That should be okay. Get them to get up all of the small biter bases on the way back. Or all of the very sparse ones. Cut through this one. And back to base. Bring him back to the mall this time. I think I... I think our artillery has done enough over here. I'm tossing up between the decision to just block this belt and stop doing this entirely. Um... And or just 
Request priority 100. That's probably got something to do with it. Let's uh, reduce the priority on this one. Request priority negative 100. And we'll... We'll bring uh, girders here. We'll, we'll make this the last place we bring girders. And make sure we're a bit more diligent in using the spiders to clear out the biters. I'm pretty sure we can get it done without the help of the artillery. So that'll hopefully get some girders uh, sent to space this week. Speaking of which, I'll just go and fix up that train. It will sort itself out eventually, but at the same time... I'd like to just get it moving. Um, what I could do, though, is just make it so that this one is strict with averaging out uh, the chests. Alright, so we're just going to grab girders here, and away we go. Should just be a little bit left on this belt here. Yep. Okay. Now then. Still gonna take like more than two train loads to fill this up. Did you complete all the biomechanical chips and stuff? Uh, yep. We're just really suffering the throughput for certain things. Uh, currently we're spitting out some biomechanical data, as a matter of fact. Oh, we finally got... Oh no, wait, this is where it's produced. Um, we haven't finished any products for biological... A broad bi biological catalog. I might just set this so that we're only asking for one train load of each of these resources. And I could probably limit the outputs of these. Uh, to a little bit more than a train full. Not something I would normally bother to do, but um, we're obviously struggling to saturate everything here. And with the way things are set up, with much more throughput than we've got available, uh, much more crafting capacity than we've got available input, uh, limiting those is a lot more important in order to get everything saturated. Um, but I need to go through and do that for like several things. Like this one, this one, this one, this one. I've mostly been setting the train stops to only ask for one or two train loads of stuff. So that's going to be fine. Uh, this is junk output, so we're definitely not limiting that. Yeah. That should make a bit of a difference. Now then, how close are we to loading this thing? 
Oh, it's still stuck on... Oh, it's heat exchangers, actually. Heat exchangers are lacking copper. We should have plenty of copper. We have a million copper stored, so that's good. And here it comes. It's just that building nuclear reactors uh, is very, very, very copper thirsty. Okay. Of course, if I'd thought to do this ages ago, it'd already be done. Something is not working, I think, at one of the Bio 2 cards. I saw input items, but the machines weren't working. Uh, which Bio 2 card? If it was catalogs, it's because we're missing some inputs. Um, here we've got... Oh, this is the same problem as as we had at that other build. We can fix that right now. I think that'll... it Because we copy-pasted the same stuff. Um, but I think this will... only be affecting half the block. So it won't actually stop this from working. It's only when resources are dropped off on this side. And this is empty anyway. But I did see one of these had... Um, it lacks inputs, but it's also stuck on output. So we can definitely do something about that. This, wait, wait a sec, this isn't full. Connects to here. Oh, this is, um... This is not connected anywhere. Is this the same? It's not. Hold on. What did we do different here? Huh? Oh, is it... It's... This one has the same problem. Okay. So that's another thing I have to correct. This one's actually going to be really easy. Done. And I think this was a fifteen. Uh, that doesn't look quite right. Oh, I see. Oh, that fixes that. And that should fix that one. It was a block with thermodynamic facilities. Um... It wasn't hot, was it? We're just missing a plasma stream. Lock with thermodynamic facilities. This one? Biocombustion data? Oh, I mean, resistance data. That one is also missing plasma stream. I'm really... surprised. Wait, what's the problem here? Chemical gel. Okay. After all this as well, something's wrong with the power. Why is... Why does this pylon substation have no connections? Alright, let's put you here. This will probably help. Look at that. 
This really is getting quite big. Block with thermodynamic facilities. This one has a little bit of plasma stream, but no physical inputs. Oh. Yeah, like half of this block... Okay, this block... Oh, that's right. These were just put here because we were figuring out the size of things. Uh, this is just so that we can expand it uh, if and when it comes to that. But other than that, these seem to be working. That's fine. Are we struggling for some other reason for chemical gel? Uh, we seem to have no coal. Even though this is full of coal? We saw this working earlier. Why would the trains not be delivering coal here? There's plenty of idle trains. Uh, request stack threshold 160. Negative 80,000 coal. Long trains only. Constant Combinator is switched on. It is connected to the Logistic Train Stop input. It's just not delivering coal for some reason? Uh, it is delivering it over here. Or it was already here. But also it is delivering it over here. Does that mean there's also... I'm going to guess... Actually, no, there's... Okay, yeah. Currently, there's only one train stop available to pick up coal from. And this is moving so fast that both train stops were requesting coal at the same time. That might have had something to do with it. Whoops. But yeah, I'm a little bit confused, even then, as to why this is not having coal brought to it. Oh, um, I just realized we're not going to get... Um... We're not going to get two trains scheduled to pick this up because it's limited to a bit more than one train load. So that we can keep it balanced. Uh, I'll check on that a little bit later. Um, what thing was it that we wanted to check on... On Nalvis? During the daytime, perhaps? I think we already confirmed these are all working. Uh, copper is not... Oh, this is iron. All of these iron stations are completely full. We forgot to signal these, so... The trains are going to queue up here. And we'll only get one at a time up here. Let's go fix that. I'll use the speedy spider. We do have a bit of a bottleneck of trains here, but it doesn't look too severe. Maybe? Alright, step one. Uh, get some signals up here. Regular signal going into where the train can stop. Chain signal going into the intersection. And same thing over here. Oh, 
Where does the train fit? Okay. That should do it. How's our mole doing? We got all the nuclear stuff. Fantastic. Um, I assume we are already making... Uh, media defense installations. Good. So currently we're trying to load all meme accumulators. We need to reduce that to what we've already got. Um, I kind of want to put like a, just a little note here to remind myself what we're supposed to have later on. And that should allow us to move on to the next thing. Fantastic. I think we're ready. Unless I've forgotten something. But we've loaded everything up that I have remembered. I'll just have to get these signals done before we go. And try to think of anything else that we should be packing. A Zavoxifol. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. No call. This one's working though. It just ran out. Oh, there's there's some coal up the top still. Because this unloads half as fast. That's why. Um, there's no coal here. Okay. Uh, how are we actually doing for coal? Like, on Nalvis. We have very little in storage. Um, how much is this? Uh, 113,000. That tells me that we're getting close to running out. All the more reason that we need to get that uh, four fragment processing going. Why is this stuck? Huh. Okay. I don't know if it's... It must be productivity bonuses that we've upgraded or something. But whatever the case, this design is looking a bit obsolete. Well, no, it is it is consuming all of the core fragments that are being put into it. If core fragments are not accumulating, then this build is not sufficiently broken to cause us any problems in theory uh, it probably couldn't hurt to duplicate it though oh did we place all of these signals looks good and we need to go up here as well I should probably drop off the flat solar panels that I am carrying as well. Yeah, now they're starting to queue up the way I described. Okay. Let's get our construction spiders to pay this area a visit. 
I was thinking we would need to do this sooner or later anyway. Um, but it's looking maybe a little bit more urgent. Since I saw some of those machines stopping. But we're going to be bumping up our effective rate of production of vanilla core fragments soon anyway. So let's get them to get that build done. Doing good, you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I think we... Okay, the fact that these two trains are here tells us that we fixed the signaling issue. And the trains hanging around here are starting to look a bit more sensible as well. Fantastic. Uh, I still haven't power switched this one. Since I'm already here, maybe I should do that. On the other hand, we don't have so many copper mines. But we, we have a million copper plate in storage. I don't think we're struggling that much with copper. Then again, it has to go through the smelters and there's a constant throughput. I'm sure it won't slow it down that much to power manage this. Okay, disconnect this one. Disconnect this one. We need a accumulator. And a power switch. Three decider combinators. Green signal greater than zero for the power switch, connected to the memory cell. A green signal greater than red, output green one, connected to its own input. And then accumulator charge, red and green. Switch on only when accumulator is full. Let's go, Rorosaur. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, that didn't take long. Obviously, I could blueprint that, but practicing little things like that is very good for really burning your understanding of those things. Uh, into your brain. Okay. So, shall we head over to a brand new planet? There's so much storage space available still, I feel like we could probably stand to pack a few more things. Um, like some storage chests, and let's say 50 of everything else. RS Latch Percent World Record, <laughs> indeed. Of course, the first time you learn how something like that works, you're going to be staring at it for a long time uh, before it really begins to click. 
Okay, I have now learned the latch. Thank you. You're welcome. Teaching Tuesdays, go. Maybe I should make that a regular thing. What would the what would the best format be? That's the only thing I uh, wonder about. All right, we have our spiders. We have bots, repair packs, chests, uh, inserters. I mean, I'm pretty sure we already carry enough inserters for the entire build that we're going to do here, but I would really rather not find out that I need something that I didn't take. Pipes. We should definitely bring a lot more pipes. And storage tanks. Uh, 200. Offshore pumps. Well, we can normally handcraft those very, very easily. But... Belts? That's a good point. Yeah, I, I do often run out of belts, actually. <laughs> That's a really good point. Okay. So, like... 500... How's our space? We still have more than half the rocket. Um, 500 undergrounds. Like a hundred splitters. Monkey see, monkey do. Indeed. Um, we're not going to need so many combinators that I need to carry extra. Uh, fuel refineries and stuff. I should already be carrying those. Although, on... On one of our planets, at least, we ended up handcrafting a bunch of them. This build right here to make uh, fuel refineries. We could use bigger beacons, but still. Um, that's actually 21 fuel refineries. So let's bring a few more. Refinery. I think that stacks to 10. Yep. We'll just bring one extra stack of those. 10, actually. I'll make it 20. And chemical plant. 20. Uh, we're already carrying wide area bacons. Maybe some modules? I'm already carrying those. Don't really need to be carrying the space pipe either. Um, assembly machines? I think we got them. Oh, uh, I'm carrying 50 anyway. That should be plenty. Everything else we can probably make if we need to. Military stuff? Uh, our target has no threat whatsoever. It was Calamity, wasn't it? Varus. Threat, 0%. And we've got some spiders if, if it comes to that. Although we didn't bring rockets. Should have some laser lasers on me at all times anyway. Um, still loading fuel refineries. And nothing else. Hmm. We're a bit busy crafting things to be making fuel refineries, apparently. Including nuclear reactors. I thought we were done with those. Is that enough prod modules for the miners? 
Um, oh yeah, considering that we're actually going to build regular mines this time as well. Oh, that's the wrong one. How do I go back? Calamity. Wait a sec, Oriel, Maelstrom. Maelstrom is where we want to get our iron ore from, but it's a pretty big planet. Around about the size of Nalvis, and there's lots of biters. Does it have oceans? Lakes. Uh, I don't suppose there's an island here somewhere? Then we could set up core mining. Anyway, let's not get distracted right now. Um, Calamity and Varus. Zero threat. What were we checking? Frozen seas, humid shrubs. Oh, that's right. I was just going to look at these. There's a lot of iridium mines close together. So we want to take big miners... Um, we'll use another combinator for this. Big miner. 500. How many? We're still only half full. Uh, and we need... I think it's six. Uh, uh, five, isn't it? Five productivity modules per miner. Um... Productivity... 500. That's a lot. We could maybe get those delivered from this rail block. I think we've got them automated in a way that... Yeah. That's 2.4k right there. Let's get it delivered. This is the output. Um, let's see. Productivity module. Um, why don't we just go like 4,000? And I'll just put... I'll, I'll leave them blank for now, but... I'll just put this here actually as a reminder. Yeah, we can fit 4,000 in a short train, I think. Uh, divided by 40 is 100. That's wrong. It's 2,000. That's two train trips with the short train. That's okay. Also, let's bump up the train limit here. To make sure that gets scheduled. Looks like the miners won't be much of a problem. Um, we'll need to make sulfuric acid on site. I think we've already got enough. chemical plants and stuff. We've got crude oil right up here. That's going to be pretty handy, actually. Although there's no iron to tap for it. We'll probably have to send iron plate. Along with everything else in the cargo rocket. Um, I don't see iron anywhere, actually. It's a tiny bit. Okay.
Well, if it's easier, we could all we could always send sulfuric acid barrels. But then we have to deal with the steel on the other end eventually. I guess we can just put it back into the cargo rocket that's coming back. Two hundred and fifty to go. Uh, we should by now have some productivity modules on their way. We've got one point three K here. That's not bad. What's our target for building these productivity modules? Five hundred, so I think we already got a delivery. Except I would have thought we'd get a delivery of a full short train. Okay, I am going to take a short break while we wait for that. And... I'm sure everyone here will behave and not spam any sound effects at all. My audience would never do that, after all. Thank you, Valdak. Um, Alright, back in a few minutes.
Okay. Thank you, thank you. What are we up to? 32 miners to go. Did we get a delivery of productivity modules? Doesn't look like it. Productivity module 3. Uh, it's definitely in the robot network. And the robot network is how we tell LTN what's available here. Productivity. It is switched on. And it is connected. Oh, what's the request threshold? 160 stacks. That's probably why. Um... We need to request 8,000. Just to get a short train to pick up some. On the plus side, this block is not going to run out of productivity modules. I bet T Hacks has the applause compilation as his morning alarm clock, waking up to chat cheering. That's a good idea. Bravo, you made it. Bravo, you woke up. Bravo. I mean,. Waking up in the sense of, like, getting going and everything is an accomplishment. Okay. Uh, so we should see that light go yellow quite soon. Now that I've requested eight freaking thousand... Hold on. I've requested eight thousand productivity modules, but there's only... 2.4,000 here. So even if the provide stack threshold here is just one, I think... I think the request threshold has to be lower to make this work. But when we lower the request threshold... When we do lower the request threshold, it's going to have trains delivering small amounts of these other resources. Good morning, self. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again, indeed. At this rate, I'm just going to go and physically, directly pick up some productivity modules. If this light doesn't go yellow in a moment. Okay, I see how it is. Oh, nope, there they go. Why, wait, why isn't the light yellow? There's nowhere else that train could be going. Let's check. Yeah, it's going to the Southern Mall. It's picking up 2,000 prods. Well, that's just... tricksy. I wonder if the light is green because we've got more trains that could be coming here or something? Trixie LTN does it again. Hughes Mike, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I was trying to scroll up to double check if I've seen you today, but... Uh, it's all sound effects. Maybe you remember Friends Explode where Joey had his morning buddy? What? I'm so confused. Okay. Uh, what are we missing here? Some... We're still missing some refineries. Are we not trying to make those here? It's probably the problem. Chemical plant. Refinery. Refinery. Make it 50, actually. No, I don't see... 
Is this switched on? That's probably the problem with that one. But now we're trying to make too many kinds of pipe. Um, let's just do it here. There we go. Helps if you actually ask the machines to make these things. Alright. So we're looking for 20 refineries, 2.5k prod modules, and that's it. Unless anyone can think of anything else that we should be taking to our new planet. Not Oriel. Uh, Calamity. Bar Baris. I guess I could plan out and see exactly how many, um, all the things you forgot, indeed. Uh,. I could try and figure out exactly how many mines we need. We're probably not going to beacon this anyway. Okay, so something like this is... 36 mines. Probably going to need, like... Let's call it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like seven stacks of miners, probably enough. And we've already got 500. I'm sure it's more than enough. Lurk, last work meeting. All right, take care. Uh... So now it's just productivity modules, and those should be... Oh, we've got 2,000 already. Wait, why does this say... Because we were aiming for 2,500. But that 2,500 would be if we use all 500 of the mining drills, and I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. Okay, if we get desperate enough, we can... We're not going to Taser. We're going to Varis. Varis. And we don't have any landing pads there. Probably should have clicked on this sooner. Now we have to wait for the liquid rocket fuel. 789,000. Hmm. Uh, we've got like a hundred thousand here already, or we did, but this is only 24, 25 per second. 32,000 seconds? 533 minutes? Nine hours? I don't think we're gonna wait that long. Um... I don't think we're going to wait that long for the rocket fuel to get made. Yeah, let's, uh, let's not do that, actually. Uh, we've got liquid rocket fuel in the rail network now. It's not close enough that I'm going to run a pipe or anything. But I think what we might do... Just temporarily, at least. This actually fits shockingly well. Okay. Maybe use a beacon to speed it up? That's not going to make a difference on the scale that I'm looking for, but yeah. Um, connect some pipes, do some logistic 
quests. Uh, pipe, there we go. That'll all be connected. And we'll put this here as well. Uh, substation, I guess. And this is going to be... Well, first of all, let's do our usual template. Liquid, rocket fuel, requester. Oh, that should be blue. Maybe I will keep this here. As uh, scuffed as it is. Liquid. 120,000. Turn that on. And connect this to here. Uh, we're going to need some more storage. That's fine. have tanks in the back that will also be filled by that train. Yeah, that's fine. This is basically to determine if there's enough space uh, for the train to drop off the fluids. Almost got myself run over by a train there. Okay, so this should be working. Uh, I guess I could bump up the priority. But I don't know if we have any lack of fluid wagons right now. Doesn't look like it. Here we go. Fantastic. So it's actually going to take like seven... Well, okay, more like five now. Uh deliveries for that to get done. Just when I thought we were ready to go as well. Uh, are we getting our prods delivered again? Not yet. That's filling up shockingly quickly. Really surprisingly quickly, actually, considering how uh, beacon, uh, how we don't have speed modules in these things. I mean, it probably doesn't have speed modules in here, but still. Okay. What should we do while we wait? Uh, let's have a look at orbit again. Oh, am I still struggling on coal? I guess... I guess that's actually not that surprising, unless we had like half a million coal stored. Um... Because we've created a massive capacity here for heavy oil, light oil, petroleum, uh, cosmic water, lubricant. What is this doing? It's trying to pick up... Oh. Oh. Yeah. I forgot that minor detail. Um, there's no room... A lubricant here. Uh, 
Okay. What I might do temporarily turn this around. Spiders go here. We need to turn off these combinators for now. Well, this one's fine. So this goes off, this goes off. Okay, so we need to... Wait, what? What? Huh? Oh, I see what just happened. It's fine. Okay, so our logistic train stop output is outputting a signal for what the train wants. And we're going to send uh, set this to lubricant, not equal to zero. And chemical gel, not equal to zero. Turn those pumps around for the moment. Same thing go uh, same thing applies over here except petroleum and light oil and that connects to the logistic train stop output And then we can copy all of this over here. Turn those constant combinators back on. So this one should work from the beginning. Um, but also we need to... We need to make a temporary storage for this lubricant. So we can get the train to output. Uh, we can drain all of that. Uh, we'll need to temporarily change these settings. Why is this? Oh. And that's draining our lubricant. It's all bottlenecking through this one pump though. So it's going to take a moment. I could probably drain it from the other side as well. And there'll be a lot more room to store it this way also. It's only pumping... 1400 per second. Okay. The train's not going to go anywhere until I turn these pumps around as well. But I would rather keep my eye on it and get it fixed uh, before we look away. On the other hand, this fluid is draining so slowly. Well, not that slowly. 25k. Still 25k. Because it's draining all of this first. Okay. We'll give that a look in a minute. Uh, we're still only half full on our liquid rocket fuel. Oddly enough. We do have a train on the way with more. I 
There's probably a build dependent on chemical gel that's holding up everything over here. Because the train limit is one. It's waiting for this specific train as well. What is this guy doing? Aha. Missing signals. And what's your problem? You're missing eight... Literally eight biomass. Even though we have a balanced loader here. I should probably st set the provide stack threshold to like 165 or something. Or if I set these to a stack size of 1. How fast do we make biomass from this place? 40 per second. So I don't want to... I don't want to drop the stack size on these things. It's very weird that uh, there was just enough biomass here, pretty much, to trigger a train trip. But yeah, we need to bring the spiders in range. And we need to fix this signaling over here. There's just a couple of uh, chain signals missing between these stations. I'm sure... I, I won't be surprised to see that once the biomass... Uh, sorry, biosludge comes in here. Um, I was going to say we'd be able to get more biomass, but... It seems we're stuck on nutrient vats. Nutrient vats is stuck on gel. Gel is stuck on chemical gel. Chemical gel. Okay, it's not actually this station that this train is waiting to go to. But we are bottlenecked on chemical gel. Why is this one not outputting? There's definitely room for this to output its fluid. Well, that'll do it. Okay, so the train is empty. Um, we want to update the settings on these pumps again. This becomes a pickup. These are already set correctly, we just need to turn them around. And there's our chemical gel. And away goes our train. Fantastic. Main speaker joined the meeting 9 seconds before I wanted to leave at 10 minute mark. Unbelievable. What is your method to set the train limit at an LTN stop? A uh, constant combinator feeds it a signal called limit trains. Among other things. Um, you can set this arbitrarily or you can use a circuit to change the number dynamically if you like. Alright, so that should all work. We know this one's set up correctly. Well, I'm pretty sure. So let's do a copy-paste and make sure this one's all the same. And put this back where it belongs, turn these pumps around. Actually, I'll put this over here. So all we have to do when this is empty is remove those pumps and stuff. 
KTS dual provider. It just requests what's needed. Are these dual provider stop? How does that work? Uh, so, it's a pickup station, so all we have to do is tell LTN with the logistic train stop input uh, positive signals for what we've got available at this station. And the trick to make sure we don't uh, give it the wrong fluid. When the train arrives, the logistic train stop output is going to output a signal of, for example, 100,000 chemical gel. Um, we've set up the provide threshold to 100k, so it's never gonna, it's never gonna come here for less than a full train load. I don't know if dropping that lower with fluids would make it say, try to go 50k, 50k with lubricant and gel. It would certainly do that with solids, um, but that's the way we have this set up here. Anyway, once we get a signal of lubricant, for example, from here, we just enable all of these pumps. Okay, our fuel is creeping along still. Uh, meanwhile, our build in orbit that we need to fix has been fixed. We just still don't have the, um, uh, hold on a sec. Is this dependent on, let me just check something. Uh, this outputs biocultures just as a excess from this thing. Okay. Biocultures aren't going to a lot of places, that's why I was okay with this. I should probably bump up the threshold here so this doesn't happen again. It is connected properly, so it should be pretty much balanced. Uh, 200. Should be more than enough. For now, I think we'll just send this almost completely full train to its destination. I haven't set up builds in such a way that it's really strictly dependent on... Like getting exactly the right amount of each resource. So that'll be fine. And what about coal? We should probably make some more coal mines. Oh, this one's completely dead. Uh, yeah. Let's send our deconstruction spiders over here. There's a bit of coal left, but probably not enough to fill a train. 7.6k. Uh, I could be wrong. And this is 5.2k. It's literally just enough um, to get a train to take all, all almost all of this somewhere. Um, but yeah, we need to tap some more coal mines. Requires a bit more circuitry for solids. Yeah, absolutely. Because, uh... Because if you get the inserters sticking out with the wrong thing with solids, you're in trouble. Battle Rabbit, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Same could be done with solids and inserters. Yep, we have done that. Uh, so here, for example, we've got uh, dual pickups for iron and glass and copper and stone brick. NMD, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
You have to prevent inserters from picking up the wrong stuff as the train's about full. Yeah, and you need to control it so that the inserters don't attempt to over-insert anything. Um, it's not too difficult with... If you've got one container and one inserter per cargo wagon, um, basically all you need to do is make sure the uh, stack size drops down to one when it when you're almost finished. If you are loading more than one cargo wagon, there's a problem in that you can read the total amount of stuff that's in the train, but you can't check how much is in each cargo wagon. So it's extremely important that before you start, you've got enough stuff to make absolutely sure the inserters are all going to keep swinging and stay perfectly in sync with the plan. Um, the way we do it with these 24 inserters is... Oh, here's a demonstration. Um, so the signal that's going to all of the inserters is it could be anything actually but in this case it's how much is left to put into the train 9000 8000 copper plate and the s that you see dropping down here is stack size so this is uh each over 24 output each and output stack size that's on the red wire and once we get low enough we only output to the green wire, um, which is just one inserter per cargo wagon. We don't output a S for stack size because the default is a stack size of one if you're using set stack size. And uh, the way division works in Factorio is you've got divided by and you've got modulus, which just means the remainder. So if you divide 23 by 24, it's just going to output 0. Um, so once, we, once we're below 24, we go each... If each is less than 24, output 1 each um, to just these inserters. The mini loader would probably not work then. The mini loader. I love your build now. I want to play SE again. Thank you. Also, Silent Storm and Biker. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Haven't seen that before. Might have just missed it. When did they add mod? What? That is so smart. Uh, thank you. I mean, this took. This took a while to figure out, and some trial and error, absolutely. Um, I can... I could build this from scratch without a blueprint or anything now, but that's because I've done it a few times. The process of getting to the point where you can viscerally understand this and build it from scratch and explain it, uh, that, that's, a, that's a journey. Mini loader, it... Excuse me. Mini loader is a mod for loaders that are compatible with trains and stuff. Ah. Yeah, the only reason that we need to do this at all uh, is normally uh, the inserters, some of them, unless you manage to line everything up so that it'll insert exactly what goes into the train uh, and we sort of tried that not that it needed to work that way but I thought I had it set up here uh, we had a stack size of 10 before we finished the research here I don't know if this broke because we finished the research or I think this happened before we got the stack size of 12, though, actually. So, every time you do this recipe, it spits out 1,500 scrap exactly. 
Um, it's so fast with the scrap that we're directly inserting it into chests and into a train. Um, because we've got four stack inserters on each side per cargo wagon, um, four chests, and there's 40 uh, stacks, and the stack size is divisible by the stack inserter stack size. Um, I was actually expecting, without circuitry, that this would always manage to uh, have the stack inserters just not end up sticking out at the end. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that ended up happening anyway. Now, the only trouble with this is... The next time a train comes, if there's an inserter sticking out here with copper plate, the train arrives and gets copper plate shoved into it. And if it came here for stone brick, we're in trouble. Especially if our trains are set to things like, don't go anywhere until you've got 16,000 copper plate exactly. Um... It also has the effect with LTN, uh, for some reason, I'm still racking my brains as to where this might be useful, but if the train arrives with something in it, the logistic train stop output outputs that signal as well. So the, the, the output that we're using to figure out which item we're putting into the train um, is also outputting the wrong signal, and it's going to start loading the train with the wrong thing as well half the time. LTN has an option to leave one spot free in the cargo wagon. I haven't seen that one, actually. Uh, I do really like LTN, as much as it gives me some trouble sometimes, but there are a couple of strong recommendations I have if you're going to use it. Uh, I have my own opinions, but I will say this, and I think it's like objectively correct. Make sure you look at all of the options. Because there are default options in here that will absolutely act as newbie traps. Um, like, I think there's one in here that waits for inactivity um, when the train is picking stuff up. So if the train goes somewhere to pick up like half a train load of whatever resource and the inserters don't have clever circuitry to put in exactly as much as it's asking for, um, it'll just completely overfill the train. And with default settings, it will go somewhere for like a thousand items. Um, there's a oh, uh, delivery timeout. If for some reason it takes a train a long time to get somewhere, LTN will just assume that train was destroyed or something, which doesn't help when you have some kind of train traffic jam, and then you fix it, and in the meantime. 17 trains have been sent to the same stop, even though you set a train limit of one. No, it's a signal, not an option. Uh, what was it? Leave one spot free in the cargo wagon. Leave one stop free, uh, one spot free in the cargo wagon. We've got depot, depot priority, encoded network ID, train length, limit trains, Thresholds and priorities. Load locked slots per wagon. That'd be it. The X one. Yeah. Yeah, I never really noticed this one. I would have thought that would um, use the limit part of the inventory thing. Does it do that or not? Never tried that one. Um, it was something I wanted to check on in space. Okay, we did eventually get 
Oh, I told that train to leave, didn't I? Yeah. It's going to take quite a while for... I think I was a bit too greedy making two of these blocks at this stage. It's going to take a while for our coal to catch up. Uh, but more importantly, we've got our rocket fuel. And I'm pretty sure we have everything else we need. I could take some regular beacons, since they're so much more power efficient. Um, that might be a good idea, actually. Well. Uh, probably like 50. How many modules can we put in a beacon? Is it 8? It's 8. Those are not construction spiders. They are not constructing. Oh, I completely forgot about this build. Uh, we didn't get our construction spiders to carry pulverizers. So it basically hasn't been done at all. It's just all the belts and stuff. Why is there iron plate in these chests? Oh, don't tell me. I never actually finished... Oh, no. Um, I think I never actually finished deconstructing this old block. And I missed the, uh, chests full of iron up there. Okay. Well, not too many things have actually been built here, so... Um, I think we'll just... We'll leave this here. That's supposed to be there. Everything else we're going to deconstruct to make sure we get rid of all of that iron. Bunk indeed, that was well deserved. Even with the inactivity option you were talking about, it won't overflow if you use circuitry on your LTN stations like they were intending you to. Yeah, I think the default settings, though, like, no matter how high the skill ceiling is, the default settings should probably aim to make it as easy as possible to do something with the mod without things breaking, right? Don't really have room there. Regardless, with the LTN stations, they work perfectly. You just have to ignore signals you don't care about. That's why they have output of everything the train arrived at the station with. And what it's supposed to leave the station with. But if you're getting a signal for what it's supposed to have plus what it already had, how are you supposed to discern, like, just what it's supposed to have? How are you supposed to disentangle those? So if a train arrives with 10 copper plate, for example, it will set it to 10 so you know that it leaves the station with 10. Yeah, I don't see it. Um, we're really having trouble with storage here. We've got... how many girders do we have here? 15,000. Um... We... because we requested 16k at one point. Okay. It's mainly the cargo rocket sections that are the problem here. I can tell from the fact that we've got some in this, uh... this little loop that we've been having trains pick up cargo rocket sections uh, from this block, so that is slowly sorting itself out. Um, anyway, our rocket is full of fuel, we just need some beacons, we got some beacons. Uh, speed modules, we need eight times as many. 
50 times 8. Uh, why am I blanking on this? 50 times 8, 400, right. I think I was about to type 4,000. Train has 10 copper plate in it because error train is coming there to pick up 5k iron plate. Signals will be 5k iron plate and 10 copper plate. You just make sure to fill the train with as much as the station combinator thing outputs. And then stop the inserters. But the train... it, it It's happened when we get the sort of problems, uh, like when I wasn't stacking, uh, setting the stack thresholds high enough here to ensure that this was even and full enough, um, if there was an inserter sticking out, the train would still be requesting 16,000 copper plate, for example, so there wouldn't be room for like all the copper plate and some stone brick, for example. Okay, um... Then you have an issue, absolutely. Alright, we've already got our speed modules. I think that is literally everything. There's nothing... I hope there's nothing else to remember. There's no more reason to procrastinate. I think we are going to Varus. There is oxygen on Varus, right? Right, right? Well, even if there isn't, we've got life support. Away we go. Ensure the train's empty in the depot? Yeah, you absolutely should have a depot that empties your trains. Uh, even if you plan to set everything up so that you make no mistakes, um, sometimes it's just convenient to be able to send a train back to the depot and have it sort itself out. What a landing spot. Good thing cargo pods float, otherwise... Otherwise, we might be in trouble. Why is there a spider here? What? What? It's one of the... It's one of the spiders... That I put in the cargo rocket, except it's lost its color. SE auto deploys spider in the rocket. Does it auto deploy? I, I tried that before and it didn't seem to work, but here we are. Um, but does it auto deploy just one spider? Wait, what? How does it? What? Why are there random things in the spider's trunk? Also, I'm loving being able to just click that. That's fantastic. Um, okay, well, I think the first thing we should do is deploy as many of these spiders as possible. Uh, I think there's 19 of them, unless we lost some in transit, I certainly hope not. Um, why are they going to my trash slots? It's the last place I want spiders. Uh, what do we got here? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh no. Did we actually just lose some spiders? 16, 17. Eighteen, nineteen, beautiful. 
Um, anyway, these are construction spiders, so I'll have a white one for leader, and a yellow one for the rest. And we need to give them some bots. I'll grab all the bots and then do an even distribution. And then I'll get the spiders to pick all this stuff up. And we'll set up some solar panels, uh, logistic bots, and some storage. And this will be enough to get started anyway. Even distro. Oh, there's one missed. I missed one of them. Let's try again. Even distribution. And... Deconstruct. Fantastic. I need to... Uh... Make some remotes for these guys. We'll use the Navsat virtual remotes. Get them to follow. We're going to take most of them home when we're done, but it's definitely going to be a bit more luxurious to have them all with us for now. Oh, they already finished picking all of that up. Nice. So they should have a lot of stuff in their trash slots. Fantastic. We're actually really close to where I want to build the, uh, the... Wait, no we're not. I want to build it up here. Oh no. Okay, it's fine. There's a, there's a path. They can get there. Okay. So we need to get them all to follow the leader. Up to 50 each of the following items will automatically be loaded into its inventory from the rocket, construction robot, storage chest, robot port, substation, solar panel, pylon substation, laser turret accumulator, flat solar panel 1, 2, 3. Nice. That's very helpful. I wonder why it didn't work when I tried it before. Oops. And go. I can't believe we've already picked everything up. That's amazing. And you shall be my noble steed. Let's head over to our... Is that iron? No. Over to our building site. Thanks, Noxyway Gaming. Which is why I want spiders even more badly in my SE run now that I know about it. Yeah, it was... If I have one complaint about space exploration, it's... Too many quality of life things take a very long time to get. Uh, Spidertrons in particular, I really find for for a long time. I think it only takes bio one though. I mean, okay. I say only bio one, but bioscience is definitely the most complicated thing. Um that I've dealt with in space exploration so far. And it's much worse if you're not doing it in some kind of rail block or bot spam setup. Because of the loop and because of all of the... Uh, I think it's material science that does more of the spitting out scrap and junk and 
nasty fluids and stuff that you have to deal with. Speaking of which, how is it we've got chests full of contaminated scrap here? Um... Where is our... Contaminated scrap. So this is looking somewhat full. We're outputting scrap. The, the scrap output is full. Okay. Scrap. Scrap is also full. Iron is not full. Copper is not full. Stone is not full. It's heavy oil. Ah, uh, what are we going to do with this heavy oil? Okay. Maybe... It's a bit late now, but... Hmm... Maybe this should... I would like it to be both a heavy oil pickup and drop-off. But mainly we want to dump heavy oil into here as much as possible. Can we do that? We've already got it set up as both a pickup and a drop-off. Um, where are our spiders? Way down here. Yeah, um... I think we should just double the storage here. And we can probably play around with the... Ah, uh, the thresholds. Request threshold, 25k, heavy oil... Uh, eight of these can fit 200,000. So that's what we're going to ask for. 200,000. And this is going to go here. We can do both short and long trains. So the minimum to trigger a delivery is only 25k. But we're looking for 200,000. Um, or I could set it to like 300,000. So we're primarily trying to drop heavy oil off here. But if it gets really full... If I set it to like negative 250, 280,000. Then... When there is 250,000 here, it's going to report zero. When there's 350,000 or more, it's going to report more than 100,000, which is going to act as a provider. And until then, it's going to act as a requester. I think that's it. And we need to have uh, the circuit wiring able to read from these ones as well. That should be what it takes. Do you want it to, though? I don't use city block or bus. Um, stupid bio one indeed. Hello, Imo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, the reason I want it dropping off heavy oil here is because we have heavy oil as essentially a waste product from dealing with scrap. And we deal with lots of it. I should have thought of this before. Because I said, um, oh, we had this circuit here to make sure we don't, we don't do more coal liquefaction. Yeah, we stopped doing coal liquefaction if we're running out of storage space here. 
because we get heavy oil from dealing with scrap. And I said, oh, we don't have to worry about that here because it's in its own rail block. But now we're going to have heavy oil dropped off here from the scrap because where the hell else are we going to put it? We can make a block just for storing heavy oil or fluids in general for that matter. But what I've done here is actually doing exactly that. Um, so in this case, we are going to have to... Let's connect these quickly so it stops consuming our coal. Even though we've got a lot of heavy oil we need to get rid of. Okay. Same thing over here. This will help with the whole consuming lots and lots of coal thing as well. Although... Oh yeah, it's actually the pump. It's actually the circuitry that's limiting the cracking. Um, looks like... Okay, it's not good enough to just read this one, um, this one container. Let's read all of them. So that we don't have things getting thrown off by the fact that the fluid sloshes around. Now we've got some cracking going. Okay, didn't think I'd be spending this much time on looking at something in orbit as soon as I land on another planet, but here we are. Now then, um, can we reach this down here? Yes, if we, if we connect to one of the pumps. So this pump is just going to be unconditional, I think. Yep. Uh, okay, so we're going to read from 24 uh, storage tanks. 600,000 is the maximum. Uh, let's say... I wonder how much we've got at this point. We could connect this all to here to find out. We've actually only got 216k. Alright. And over here as well. About the same. Oh, and we've got heavy oil here as well. But I think we can safely ignore that for the purposes of dealing with this. Okay, so we can store 600,000 of any one of these. Um, considering a train load is 100k, I'm going to say... Well, how quickly do we produce heavy oil from here? It's pretty slow, but it needs somewhere to go. It's only 35.2 per second. But it's been... It's been... Produ it's been dealing with scrap non-stop for so long that we've actually filled that up. And it, that was not the only block where that happened. Okay, um, I think, let's say 400,000. Heavy oil is less than 400, okay. That 
That should provide plenty of room to drop off heavy oil here to get rid of it. Um, while also making sure there's a lot here, uh, just in general. Okay, and then we copy-paste to make sure we bring all those settings over here. What did I just... what ghost did I just place? It's this piece of rail, which is not required. That's fine. Okay, let's add our... All liquefaction uh, symbol here. So now we've got scrap being processed again, which is going to get material science moving again, among other things. Was there something in bio that was stopped because of scrap? I think it was contaminated scrap. Yeah. Contaminated scrap somewhere was completely filled up. And contaminated scrap itself hasn't been moving because... Because it turns into scrap. It's actually, like, strictly better than scrap, sort of. Well, I guess it turns two cosmic water into one cosmic water, one con uh, one contaminated cosmic water, one contaminated bio sludge. That's already good. And 20 scrap. Very small chance of uranium. Did I... Did I account for uranium here? I, I, I don't think I did... Oh, yes, I did. Okay, good. There's actually more here than I would have thought. Oh, it's just the one chest. Yeah, so yeah, that seems about right. Okay. Let's get to maybe building our outpost. I don't know what I want with the sludge. All my scrap just goes into landfill. Uh, I mean, bio sludge is... Like the main bottleneck for biocides. Um, but it is actually about time to finish up the stream for today. Kind of unfortunate. Um, very first thing we'll be doing tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, actually. Uh, tomorrow is one of my days off. That's a little unfortunate. I kind of wanted to start this. On the plus side, what I could do is play around with some blueprints so we've got something really nice to put down here when I start the stream next time. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out. All right, let's give it a save right here. I'm really looking forward to having this, uh, to maybe making Iridite not one of our big bottlenecks. That would be very nice. Uh, I almost hit quit. That would be a mistake. <laughs> let's, uh, let's just point the stream at something, uh, while I, something more interesting than that. Bioscience? Bioscience would be more interesting if it was in motion. Rip. Oh, it is in motion. I think it just started up. Anyway, let's find someone to raid for today. Most likely playing Factorio. Angel Boats. S.E. Space Science. Uh, 
Take care, old busk. Thanks for hanging out. Alright. I think it's been a minute since we raided Dat Blue. Let's do that. Have a good one. Take care. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you like. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Uh, if you have questions about how to make circuits work, I'm happy to try to help. I actually quite enjoy talking about those and uh, helping people learn that. So for now, see you Veldak, fat boy. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. All right, let's drop in on that blue. Take care, guys. I can't actually use that. Holy crap! Tyrannosaurus hacks. Give me a shout out real quick. Boy, you came right at the perfect time, didn't you? Because uh, I'm about ready to launch my first rocket out of this out of this monstrosity. How's it going? How was your stream? How how what how how did the Factorio go? Has lined up 60